Happy Friday. What is up, everybody? Welcome. Making sure I think I see. Yes, it looks like I see everything. Music's growing. We're all going in there. Um, it is Friday. We have a pretty cool build today. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you to our um, awesome sponsors for this stream tonight. We're, we're working with Shop Tagger. We'll talk a little bit about more about them here in a little bit, but I, would, I do want to give a shout out to them. Obviously, is they're a sponsor for the stream, you're going to start seeing stuff about them come up there, especially if you're hunting for a 30, 80, 30, 90. This is going to be a tool you're going to want to pay attention to. I've actually scored a couple using this tool, um, and so uh, we'll talk a little bit about that here in a few minutes. Um, but all in all, welcome everybody to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals, mostly PC building, and now. For the second week, we're gonna be doing some gaming as well. So we got a lot of fun stuff that's gonna be happening. Trying to get that into the mix as well to make it like a chill Friday night, which is always fun. Um, the show usually happens on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, we have a lot, a lot of fun. It usually goes to about 9, 9.30. Look at Red Lines dropping the gifted subs already. And there it is. We're up there five, kicking it off. And then we're probably gonna see our first um, our first uh, hype train starting here very shortly. So kicking off Friday with the bang. Um, yeah, so uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday starting at 5.30. Uh, tonight's show usually goes till 9, 9.30. Um, I promise it will not go as long as it did last time. We're not doing anything wacky like that. Just trying to sit there and get used to a rhythm of potentially adding some games when we do builds that are a little bit more chill, uh, hopefully on Friday nights. Um, what is happening today? Well, for the most part, what's happening today is we're gonna be doing an $1,800 build which is pretty rad when you really think about it, right? Like we've done a lot of $2,000, $2,500, but guess what? We have some $1,300 and $1,500 builds coming up because people have been asking, and now that the 3060 and 3060 Ti are up, um, are out, and even though they cost an arm and leg to most people, if you are able and lucky enough to get something in like a Newegg Shuffle or an EVGA or on Best Buy or whatever it was, um, these are builds that are actually probably um, a little bit more, not necessarily attainable, but a little bit more cost prohibitive less cost prohibitive, so to speak. And so it'll be fun to basically um, do those too. So I'm uh, pretty excited about this. This is in a very unique case as well. Um, this is the second time we've used this case on the show. This is the Azacast 808. Very, very cool, unique case. This time we're adding a little bit more RGB, but overall um, it's going to be a very sick build. And this is, uh, I'm, I know that the uh, person that we're doing this for um, is uh, rather excited as well. Um, we do have some giveaways and some things that are going on during the show today. First and foremost, uh, I do want to talk about exclamation point Vikings. You can see that down in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, we're going to be playing some of that tonight. We're going to play the Vikings uh, uh, clan, uh, War of Clans. Uh, we need 71 installs. I, uh, I, they put the stretch goal out there that my community could they get 500 installs. We're 71 away um, from basically unlocking that goal of 500. I'm hoping we hit it tonight because we're gonna be playing a little bit here at the very end. Um, what happens is, is that um, we, uh, the part of our giveaways down there at the bottom is um, we give away $50, $100, $150, but if we get to 500 of those installs then we'll start giving away GPUs, so like 3060, 3060 Ti. So instead of doing CPUs, we flip over to GPUs, which, which is what all of us want anyway. Um, so the way that works, do exclamation point Vikings. The game is free to download. You basically download the game, just play through the tutorial, it takes about five or seven minutes, and then you get your name down there. And if we get to 71 of you, of which there's gonna be a thousand plus people that are gonna watch tonight, if we get to 71 of you actually go and do this, then we, uh, we give away some GPUs tonight. Uh, give away a GPU tonight, which, which should be pretty rad. So uh, if you could get started on that, that would be absolutely great. Uh, if you download it on Android, if you're watching on mobile and you're Android, you need to cut or paste uh, that link over to uh, over to your browser. Um, for some reason, it doesn't work there. YouTube, we're posting the links there. It, it's a really quick thing, and it, it goes a lot towards helping me, especially for people like, hey, I don't have money to support you. Well, here's a good way to do it. We have some additional giveaways that are happening today, which is always fun. First and foremost, we have the level five hype train, which we actually haven't started yet, so um, I, I stand corrected. I thought we would have started already. We get two level five hype trains tonight. Uh, over the course of the entire show, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, if we get 800, 700 likes on the YouTube channel, the YouTube video, my bad, uh, we will also be giving away a 250 gig NVMe. And then down at the bottom, you see where it says $50 new gift card. If we get to 50 subs, that becomes a $50 new gift card. If we get to 100 subs, it becomes a $100 new gift card. If we get to 150 subs, it becomes a $150 new gift card. And then it starts becoming G, uh, CPUs and then eventually GPUs. And we've gotten as many as 1,000, 1,200 subs in a single stream and given away 3080. So uh, thank you very much, Heaven's Phantom, dropping some right there. The upcoming build here pretty soon. So one of our upcoming builders. Um, so thank you very much for kicking that off. 
Um, so yeah, that is that giveaway. The other thing too is that we have the uh, sub only giveaway for the month of um, for the month of March. We're giving away two RTX 3070s to two lucky subs here on Twitch. So if you're over at youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash newegg, pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, use your free Amazon Prime subscription and potentially walk away with a free GPU. So we give that away. I know a lot of people are excited about the 3080 announced today. Guess what? It's gonna be Monday, or sorry, it's gonna be Wednesday. Uh, he, he, he thought he had the tool fixed. It's almost done. Sorry guys, I might just do it on Discord just as soon as he has an answer. So if you wanna look there, join our Discord, we might announce it there first and then I'll announce it on stream. But as soon as I have that, I'm not gonna announce it right away. I'm not gonna wait for streams. So, um, so anyway, that the, the 3070 giveaway, if you wanna get extra entries towards those 3070s, all you gotta do is do gifted subs. That gets you extra entries. If you wanna donate subs, um, sorry, if you want to subscribe to tier two or tier three, that also gets you extra entries. And then finally, subscribing for multiple months. So lots of stuff that's going on there and it should be, uh, it should be super awesome. And then finally, we have the Carter PC giveaway. That is happening right now. Uh, the Carter PC giveaway is uh, is a PC that we're giving away. We're gonna have links to that stuff showing up right there. If you wanna join and get in and potentially walk away with a 3080 PC with a 10700K, it's a, it's a PC that Carter and I spec together. We're giving that away. That giveaway is ending in a couple of weeks. And then finally, the last thing, I know there's been a lot, but finally the last thing I wanna talk to you guys about is actually uh, Mod Monday. So we have Intel Mod Monday coming up on Monday. We are giving away like i9 uh, I ks we're giving away all sort like lots and lots of giveaways on monday so you're going to want to tune in here twitch.tv slash robytech uh pay attention to my social for what the time is for that uh that's where i'm going to go do that down in la at their studio down there uh, it's super good time and then there's going to be a ton of stuff just giveaways that we're going to be doing over the course of that stuff so it should be super super fun so that is everything uh before we go too far into everything else let's finish out the level hype level five hype train uh, and then we'll get uh we'll get uh we'll talk about shop tagger and get things kind of kicked off uh the build for tonight is going to clueless gamer he's the one who won um who is uh didn't win he's the one who commissioned today's build uh so give a shout out to him as well so Thank you very much for all the socials and all that sort of stuff. There's all those people chatting. We got lots of good vibes today. I'm, I'm excited about today's build. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited for a good Friday. Hey, Shioka, thank you. Telling people to join the Discord now that we got it from there. Um, so you do not have to be a subscriber to get win the giveaway. The giveaways that happen over the course of the stream today, you do not need to be a subscriber for. Uh, those just basically happen. Uh, those just basically, you just have to be present. If you wanna win the 3070s that we're gonna be giving away a subscriber, giveaways those you do have to be um you do actually have to be a subscriber for so <clears throat> and there you go brum boy brum boy's like getting things brum boy's getting things going i broke it yeah vega you broke it it wasn't it's so it, it's funny he got it working and then he got did he did some tests but it wasn't quite random so he was basically going from in there and so he's still working through it but i appreciate you vega <laughs> don't get me wrong you are an amazing person and that is a good problem for me to have it broken with so it's okay Thank you for just chilling and being a part of this and uh, all in all for being such an incredible supporter of the show, dude. I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. We're just going to get the announcer done as soon as we, uh, as soon as we, as soon as we know. Okay, guys, level four, almost on our way to level five. We're a little slow today, but that's all good. It's level five. There's iReds dropping out five gifted subs again. And now we're Trump, we're probably crunk, uh, cranking towards that level five stuff um, today. So yeah, it should be super good. First time watching, welcome my show. How are you? It's welcome to the show. What's up, Made in America? How are you? It's good to see you. I I'm hoping that some of it, we, we had a lot of people, uh, a unicorn of a GPU showed up on today's uh, uh, New Egg Shuffle, and that was the uh, white RTX Asus Strix 3070. So I'm hoping that somebody gets some good news sometimes during the show today, and hopefully uh, get a lot of people entered so I can potentially end up getting that from them. So go for that. Uh, do I need to update the BIOS for the 5800X? Potentially. Um, I think that has BIOS flashback Naruto, um, but we're gonna have to check. 100K gifted subs total. Laugh yes, oh yeah, no kidding. You gave, oh geez, dude, you've given so many subs, so many subs. So uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, and it literally just kind of broke everything. So I appreciate you, my friend, you know that. Uh, okay, three minutes and 34 seconds left uh, of this hype train. Let's see how high we can get. Divine Intent and it Entity, thank you very much. What's that mean? 1,000, I know, I know, I know what you meant, dude. Um, let's see what's going on here. Uh, smiley base, I oh, did I miss you? Sorry, Smiley, Smiley's, uh, Smiley is another person. Whoa, gameplay host dropping 10 gifted subs, you're amazing. 
a smiley base who's got a build coming up he's actually doing our least expensive build we've ever done as a commission so i'm really excited about that i think uh it's uh he worked really hard to get me uh to get me to do his build so i'm pretty excited about that but yeah thank you very much for the five gifted sub smiley uh, Def, uh darfin 1981 thank you very much for that 15 australian dollars thank you very much for the super chat as well this is awesome guys we're close 30 oh by the way i saw a new viking so we're at 431 guys so we need 69 wow that's a great number 69 more vikings and then we'll uh, go from there um yeah Whew. it's a good it's gonna be a good day i just i already feel it drummer boy 54 brum boy 54 thank you very much for the 50 the 15 dollars i appreciate that the australian 15 dollars brum boy was here for the first time yeah everybody's like 69 you guys are you guys there's something wrong oh gate okay. guess what 68 somebody uh somebody put it through um thank you very much gameplay host for playing that vikings game uh yes it does have a flash so if you don't you can actually do it with you can install the bios you can install it install the chip and then flash the bios afterwards if you want to naruto if it has the bios flashback which is great um wookie boo thank you very much for three months with prime iron gazebo uh given given out one gifted community sub uh poncho 7866 with his uh gifted subs uh we're, we it's funny it's good because this week at the top of the leaderboard we have some we have some new names like it's been dominated between Vega and Psycho and even CKCC. Blue Moo is always there. She's like, Blue Moo, and I'm sorry, it's Blue, is it, is, I, I, I apologize if I'm assuming, but Blue is always at the top, has always been up there, um, but it's been pretty cool to, uh, to see some new names uh, hitting, the, hitting the top of the leaderboard today. I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming Vega is not gonna go in there and just crush everybody's soul, I, and that's okay, Vega. You don't have to do that, so which is great. Uh, there's blue. There, blue is, blue is it? Uh, I'm sorry if I apologize if I didn't. I don't mind gifting more. Smiley, I appreciate it. Dude, everything helps. We're trying to hit, let's see if we can hit a thousand. We got a minute left. A thousand percent. Can we do it? <laughs> Kilt man's crushed my soul. Don't destroy him, Vega. Leave him alone. Oh, we got it. Oh, guys, let me tell you, we have an incredible water-cooled build coming up in a very brand new case from Cooler Master. It's gonna be a new showcase build that's gonna be sitting back here. You guys are gonna love it. I read line, thank you very much for the gifted sub. 730% guys. Um, and so, uh, big in, uh, we, there is no 3080 given away so far. We, we're not doing anything like that. Um, uh, Burke, thank you very much for the uh, gifted sub. And then we'll get started here in a minute. Exclamation point Vikings guys. Come on, let's get it. 432, we're getting through so We're getting through it uh, as well. So we wanna get 70. Can we get 70 before we even get to the game? That would be awesome. Um, and then uh, also, uh, just as uh, for those of you who have played, um, if you're not interested in being in the clan uh, before tonight, KT231, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. If you're not interested in playing the game long term, I've actually I'm, I've spent a bunch of time playing today. Uh, please uh, do my do me a favor, and if you wouldn't mind leaving the guild, I'm uh, sorry, the clan, so we could get some new people in there, it would I would much appreciate. It. I know where our clan is pretty full and very active, which has been pretty cool jumping in from there. Uh, Sinful, thank you very much for that. Blue Jay, thank you very much for your gifted sub. And Lace, welcome to the family. Can you commission from Italy? Uh, yes, you can. Just know that you you do have to cover the customs costs and shipping, which can be expensive. Can you please build a powerful water cooled PC? Ruth Sasu, it is coming up and you will love it you will love it so i'm, I'm really excited about that okay a thousand percent guys boom crushed it we're at 72 wow okay we already passed that goal but let's talk about shop tagger now that we've gotten through this i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to delay anymore so let's talk a little bit about shop tagger so um I just want to let you guys know, like one of the things that I, let's see if this shows up like it's supposed to, there it is, okay. One of the things that I like, you know, with, with me and specifically with ShopTagger is like, I like tools that obviously A, help me save money. And then the second thing that I like about it is stuff that basically makes it really easy for me to find hard parts or notifies me when parts and stuff are in stock. So um, one of the things that I, a tool that I've used and we've actually, we've actually showed it here on the stream a couple times uh, is a tool called ShopTagger. And Shop Tagger is, you know, it's a, Shop Tagger is basically a, a, a tool that's basically a, a Chrome extension. They also have it on mobile. What it does is it does things like, shows you things like when you have, it uh, saves coupons, it allows you to basically save things into shopping carts. And then what it does is it uses technology to basically troll um, the, into all these stores and stuff to help you have like a single place to basically shop and make sure you're getting the best price on stuff. And I've used this 
specifically for tagging things like 3080s on Amazon and 3080s on like Best Buy and then using that to notify me. And you, you'll basically get an, it's faster than what I've seen, almost as fast as what I've seen with some of the Twitch stuff in terms of letting me know when stuff is basically in stock. So all you gotta do is if you go to uh, Chrome, the Chrome, you have, is using Chrome, uh, go to the Chrome Web Store. What you do is you go to Chrome, uh, look for Chrome Web Store and then search for Shop Tagger. So you can hear right here, we'll just search for Shop Tagger and then uh, you'll uh, basically get this right here. Go to Shop Tagger and hit Add to Chrome and then you'll add your extension, blah, 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 all that great stuff. And then here it comes and it basically installs. Now, there's a tutorial that you get when you first get in there that like kind of helps you walk through this and, and know, uh, what's, uh, know what's what and help you kind of figure out how to get things started. We'll walk you through the tutorial quick, but then I know more than anything, you guys want to make sure that, uh, you want to make sure that, uh, uh, you can uh, see how to use it effectively. So here it is right here. It's basically locked, uh, loading up. Um, for me, the stores that I always use is I use it for Newegg and I use it for Amazon and I use it for Best Buy. So we'll just click on Amazon. And then it, it does this, this is all part of the tutorial, but it's basically saying, hey, welcome to Shop Tagger. Here's your demo. It's gonna show you what to do. Let's hit start. So we're gonna open up the tool here and then you can save this pumpkin patch ribbon, which I'm gonna delete right away. So there it is. And then it shows you it brings you into this, this, uh, into this, uh, into your UI. Now, as you can see for me, I don't care about this, but you can see that I use this for a lot of different, a lot of different, uh, lists. So if you look at my items here, you can see the stuff that I always track for is like the Corsair, specifically that 4,000 megahertz Ram. I use it to basically buy streamers. Um, if, if the thing is, it also tells me when they're not going to have them in stock, Asia horse cables, Lee and Lee, uh, 011 Dynamics, a lot of Ryzen CPUs, a lot of SL120s, and then again, motherboards, and then specifically also GPUs. And you can see, I can see them for the VGA store, I can see Ventus, and these are things that I have indications for to let me know when things have come in. So here's like, I can check when things are back in stock, and this is when I actually picked up some Lee and Lees, and I can check for things that are on sale. You can see that, hey, I can get these X570 boards for, uh, for less expensive, which is pretty cool. But the, the thing that's super cool as well is like when I go to things like Amazon and I want to look at like a 3080. So if I go to an RTX 3080, you can also do things like when I, like here's this, here's a, well, let's use the 3090 from here. When it basically comes in there, you get the little indicator on the right hand side. Shoot, there it is. And then you can do things like this little thing moves around like you're used to, but this is where you can basically save the item. And then inside of the tool, you can do like notify me when it's less expensive. And then you can also add it to a list. You can see I've got my AMD 5000 series, my PC accessories, my RTX 3080s, and my my 50, my uh, 570 motherboards and stuff like that, which is pretty crazy. So uh, really, really like, really, really like this tool. The other thing too that it also does is when you do check out, um, it also applies and saves all your coupon stuff. So if you wanna basically know about your coupon stuff, uh, so like when you check out, uh, you've seen that stuff. It's like, hey, there's a series of coupons. So like when I check out a new egg, it goes through, it usually has anywhere between 15 and 30. I have saved money using that as well, which has been pretty cool. Um, and then uh, the other thing too, is that for those who do additional shopping, it does have this cashback tool as well. So like, for instance, if you're like, if, I mean, I know probably some people, uh, for me, it's like things like Columbia. Um, and then there was another store that I really, really liked uh, that used to be on here for travel. But the thing that's crazy about it is like, you can do things like when you shop at certain stores. And so for instance, we'll choose like Columbia Sportswear. Um, you can see stuff like go shopping and then you rack up cash and stuff like that, which can also be end up claiming 2% cash back. If you're a much more hardcore shopper than me, this comes in handy. It hasn't been something I've necessarily used all that much because the, the, the stores that I have a tendency to do aren't necessarily on here. So um, that is kind of shop tagger. The other thing too is you will get email notifications. I get a ton of them uh, for things like when things come into stock and it comes in like in waves. So like sometimes I've been up uh, basically closing out streams at like two or three in the morning and then I'll get a notification. At the same time, I see it on the Discord uh, for the stock tracker stuff. And then I'll notice when 3090s, et cetera, come in there. So anyway, give it a download. Uh, it, again, you also can get it on mobile, um, but you uh, you can give it you can give it a look. It's another tool to put in your toolbox if you're trying to get a hold of uh, 3000 series GPUs. Um, you can basically add a bunch of them in there um, and it ends up working pretty well. So that's Shop Tagger. Uh, you can see how to basically download it right there um, and give it a go. I'd love to know uh, if you do get it and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope it ends up helping you on your journey, so. Cool, any questions, choo-choo.
What's your email so I can buy a PC? Guys, if you're looking to do a commission, there's gonna be a, uh, th an indication that kind of comes up that shows you what you need to do if you wanna basically do a commission from me, so. Cool. Okay, let me change the goal, because we're already through this. Change the goal here real quick. Goal. Sub goal. Okay, we're at 72. We're on our way to the $100 new gift card. We're at 100. We need 72. There it is. Okay, cool. And we have how many Vikings we got? I'm waiting for the Viking count to come in there. Oh, 441. We're cranking through. We're almost to 50. Come on, guys. 59 more. Let's do it. Let's read a dad joke. And then we'll we'll start talking about parts. Okay. Um, I've read that one before. No Chief Rocker. That 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 joke is hilarious. Um, okay, here's one from Tagium. Three of the hardest things for people to say. I was wrong. I need help. And Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I like that one a lot. Um, uh, <laughs> that one's pretty good. It's facts. It's totally facts. Um, uh, Okay, okay, here's another one. A man who was swallowed whole by a whale has escaped today by running down all the way to the end till he was pooped out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just realized what I just said. That is awesome. <laughs> till he was pooped out. That's pretty funny. Instead of tired, you get, okay, maybe you, you didn't, but I thought that was, I thought that was a cute one. That was a cute joke. That was a cute joke. It was, I, hey, not all of them are gonna be great, but thank you very much. If you have dad jokes that you'd like me to read on stream, uh, pop on over to our Discord channel. That is where you can go down. There's a dad joke section. I, if they're really good, I have a tendency to take all the credit, but if they're if they're semi-okay, I'll read them out and then I'll give you credit for it. But uh, every once in a while, they're, they're pretty fun. Yeah, Craig Lilly, that was yours, and I like that one a lot. I like the, Craig put another one. I got gas today for $1.39. Regrettably, it was at Taco Bell. <laughs> That's a pretty good one too. Oh man. Whoa. Okay, that's good. I was like worried that that was gonna go up. Who's ready to start talking to? Thank you, Smiley. Watch, watch your watch your sister sauce. Thank you very much. Pray I'm God. That's pray I'm good. That's good. That's one way to make sure you, you do it right. Okay, who's ready to talk about parts today? Because we have, I don't know if you've ever seen this case. Uh, if you are, if you are, Never been to this channel, if this is the first time. This case is incredibly unique. This is called the Azacast. Um, and you guys get ready to get your mind blown here because uh, it's just a really cool case. Looks, looks kind of neat, looks kind of plainish, but little do you know, it's when you can open it up and then you can show off your parts. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is, again, a uh, cool case from Azza. Uh, very, very nice tooling, all that sort of stuff. So that's how you basically open it and uh, you can basically show all your components and everything right there. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. Um, and I really, I really like um, this case and getting to use it a lot. So we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to use this um, for uh, Clueless Gamer, which is awesome. So why don't we, uh, let's go through the parts and then we'll strip our case and go from there. So it should be fun. So I did something nice. I was thinking about, I, when I originally had kind of put this part together, um, uh, this, was a, this was a cost, and he's using this a lot for video editing, so when we basically chose these parts, the first and foremost, I want to start and just kind of set some context, because at first we were like trying to ink every bit of power that we could out of his, basically his, you know, $1,800, his $1,800 um, price point. And so um, one of the things that he had said is like when we, we first we had done like 16 gigs and then to make it all work to get 32 gigs and to keep the cost down, um, we actually ended up, I uh, ended up choosing a less expensive motherboard. But then the more I thought about it, and this is just a problem that I have is like, well, I don't know if I'm happy with how that board's gonna look. So I basically gave him a more premium board just for free, essentially. I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll take it. And, and give him something just a little bit more awesome. So uh, for his board that we're gonna be using in this, this is the ASUS Strix B550F um, Gaming. 
Uh, it's all black, which I think is gonna just look better with the case. The other thing too that I'm also gonna be adding was he's gonna be using a Ryzen 5 uh, 5600. Um, the big thing for me is just like, I wanted the build to look good. And the other two is like, I like the addition of giving us some, uh, some additional Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So really, really great motherboard and, um, uh, motherboard and CPU combination here. Um, and, uh, I just think this is going to look, uh, uh, I think this is going to look great. Uh, Kilt Man was asking, was it leg today? It was supposed to be leg day today. Um, but unfortunately we ended up having to take an updated, um, we ended up having to take an updated thumbnail pick. I wasn't able to work out today. So I might have to do that uh, afterwards. Iron Gazebo, yeah, this is a great board. So I really like this board. It actually ends up looking really nice. And so uh, we're gonna basically, this is the board we're gonna be using for today. Um, okay, so that's our motherboard and CPU. Hold on guys, my uh, my stream channel thing is being wonky. I'm gonna see if I can get it to fix here. Okay, there it goes. Now for our storage and for our RAM, and this was super important to him because again, he's doing video editing. Uh, we're doing 32 gigs of a video. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if my bit rate is just diving. Yeah, stream's kind of laggy. I don't know what's going on. Let me check, hold on guys. Yeah, it looks like the stream's lagging. Hold on guys. One second. This is, yeah. Hey, Kevin, is there, are you downloading anything or anything like that? I'm just curious. Is there, are you downloading or anything like that? Okay, yeah, the bit rate's just kind of diving up. Oh, oh, guys, we've, okay, so just as an FYI, guys, we've had this happen before, it'll come back. Just get, just give it a second. It will come back and we'll be fine. So um, we'll go from there. Yeah, it'll, it'll get, it'll get, it'll get better. Don't worry, guys. Just be patient. Yeah, it seems good. Just refresh. It seems to be coming back. Uh, and the bitrate seems to come back as well. Um, for our RAM, uh, he wanted 32 gigs of RAM. So he's using a, uh, we, we got him a nice 32 gig kit. Also RGB. So this is 3200 megahertz um, at CL16, which is a good, which is like a nice, good combination. Um, where uh, it's also controlled, like again, one of the other reasons I wanted to give him that card is most of his stuff ends up being uh, Corsair at that point. It just makes it a little easier for him to control um, all of his RGB. Uh, for storage, we're using the uh, Crucial P2s. We've got a half a terabyte and a one terabyte drive, half a terabyte for his OS drive, and then the one terabyte for his gaming drive, which should be, which should be totally cool and more than good enough as well. So uh, nice, nice, good uh, drive combination there and then memory combination as well. Um, for CPU cooling, um, we're gonna try, I think this is gonna work. We might have to go, I have a backup just in case uh, of a, a 240. Uh, we're gonna try and use the 360 um, Capellix, the H150i Capellix, really like this one. Uh, the good thing is, is that uh, he's got three fans. He wanted RGB in there. This includes the three RGB fans, which he liked. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Pancho. Um, so uh, it should look good. It's, it's supposed to support a 360 in the front. Um, we'll have to do an inverse. I remember watching when we did this case on the first one, I had some reason that I had to invert um, the tubes for, but I watched the, the stream like 15 times. I couldn't figure out or remember why I did that. So anyway, I'm pretty stoked about this. I think this is gonna be more than good. Um, so we're, this is what we're gonna be, so we'll be using for our cooling. Um, for our GPU, which I think this is kind of funny. We're using the 3060, but I wanted something. Thank you very much, Brumboy, for the $5. Appreciate it. I wanted something that did a good job of filling that middle gap. So um, I know we wanted to do a 3060, so there was a price point that we had to worry about for that. We wanted to make sure we did a 3060 that was a like a, a nice size card because this this really this case is really about showing off the card. So what better case than what better GPU than a uh, gaming trio X? Uh, from MSI. So we're going to be using the Gaming Trio X from MSI. Um, it's, a, it's a very capable card, bit overkill in terms of a cooling solution for a 3060. Um, but one thing I really like about it is that he's just getting, he's getting a, uh, he's getting a nice looking card um, that will do a good job in terms of showing off the aspect, that aspect of his case. So RTX 3060, um, again, much more like the newest graphics card that basically came out from NVIDIA. Uh, this is our second build using a 3060, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm stoked to actually get to use this as well. So that was part of the other thing too, is he paid a little bit more than what a 3060 would typically cost. I mean, he still played MSRP, but it's because he paid for the Gaming X Trio part of it. 
For PSU, we're using a semi-modular power supply. Um, not as worried about this. It's a 750 GQ, more than enough power to, for uh, 3060. Um, it's semi-modular, but it's a gold uh, it's gold power supply. For this particular build, not gonna be a big deal because most of that stuff's gonna be hidden anyway. So it should be absolutely cool and more than enough power, which I think is gonna be grand. And that, that ladies and gentlemen, is the build for today. Questions, do we have any questions? Great, good, no questions, I'm just kidding. Um, wow, that's crazy, Weary, that sucks. 74 subs of 100. Our, our, our Vikings are going up, 777 people. That's a lucky number, 777 here right now. 447, guys. Let's see, okay, so just as a reminder, exclamation point Vikings. If we're gonna give away some GPUs around, which, we, which we're gonna try and do, all we gotta do is download the game. We're gonna be playing it later tonight. Download the game, play through the tutorial using the exclamation point Vikings link. Uh, we're gonna have those links show up on both Twitch and YouTube. And then again, instead of giving away a 5600X when we get to 150 or towards 300, we'll give away a 3060 instead, guys. So let's, let's make this happen. Uh, we're, people are already working on it right now and it should be good, it should be great. Is 650 watts enough? No. That is not enough for that, so. Skyrim fan, that's that's unfortunate, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, a Saxo Freak, I know, I don't know a ton of people who actually ended up getting them. Uh, some people were basically saying what it was from there. Cool, I have so many people. Thank you very much for all the support, guys. We are so close on so many of these, uh, on so many of these, um, uh, these, these, these milestones. So let's, let's basically do it. Hey, what's up, Dead Vagrant? Thank you very much, Grown. Uh, I'm in the UK, and it's 1.10. Is it 1.10 a.m.? That sucks. I was lucky, and I didn't have the flash BIOS putting in the Ryzen 5. It didn't run into issues afterwards. The good thing about this particular BIOS is that this BIOS, I mean, this particular P, uh, CPU, sorry, this particular motherboard has BIOS flashback, so even if I put it in and install it, it won't have to worry about it, uh, so it should be good. Let me know if the Asus PG32UQ is coming out. I do not know when, so... Oh, man. Whew. Okay, well, let's get started. Hopefully a bunch of you guys, hopefully a bunch of you guys are, are downloading the Viking stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and pop in our, uh, let's go ahead and pop in our stuff and get this, uh, get this taken care of. So let's, let's grab our, yeah, let's start building a PC. Everybody say build time, build time. Everybody loves build time. This is all the, this is when the fun time happens. I do not, I, well, I'm not going to say it because then I'll jinx it. Oh, I'm sorry, Psylocke. I, I, uh, I, I did actually win the shuffle today, but the shuffle, not for the thing that I really, really desperately wanted. I won a uh, 5900X. So, unfortunately, I really wanted that white Asus Strix 3070. So, build time. Here we go. I'm hoping somebody still wins it and we might be able to go to We might be able to still, still get a hold one. Okay, here it is, ROG Strix, very, very beautiful build, very, very beautiful motherboard. Uh, here's his Wi-Fi right here. We're gonna take this out though, this is what we need. And I keep forgetting, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, motherboard tour this time, because we haven't done one in a while, so we'll do a motherboard tour before we get too far in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take all this out, just to give myself maximum room for putting stuff in it. Oops, wow. Almost. Okay, and then I don't think got some, some of those we'll use later. I need to order more. There we go. That's what I was looking for. A couple headers, and we're good there. <clears throat> oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Though Linus is good too. He's a good dude. Okay, come on, let's come out, there you are. And here is our motherboard, yay! And the other thing too I like about this one versus the one I was gonna use before is it actually has an integrated IO shield. In this case, doesn't really support IO shield, so uh, we're gonna get a little bit of bonus there as well for him. Um, okay, so let's do a quick tour. If you, who's, who's new um, to basically watching PC building or PC building all up? Uh, if you are, if you could give me, a, I'd like to see a raise a hand. Uh, if you are new to this stuff, I'm going to 
Uh, so I won. Finally, I won a shuffle by putting my handle in the show. Okay. Um, okay. One, I'm kind of new. Okay, cool. Well, let me just walk you guys through here real quick. One of the things I like to do is just walk you through and show you the different parts of a motherboard. I haven't done this for a while, but it just makes it a little easier for you guys to know what I'm doing as I'm basically doing it. Top left here, this is your EPS CPU power. This basically can, this powers this kind of whole section here. This is your VRM, which does things like uh, provides phase power for your CPU. The better the phase power, the more stable your, your CPU is, especially as it starts to do uh, overclocking, etc. You have an eight pin and a four pin. You only really need the eight pin. The four pins for basically high end overclocking are called LN2 overclocking, which is liquid nitrogen. Not something we're gonna be doing and nor do I think he's gonna be doing it here either. Uh, over here, this is a fan header. Uh, so this is a fan header. The light gray one is actually your CPU one. The dark one has a tendency to be either a system fan header or sometimes it's called an AIO header. All point is, is that these are all the same. All of these headers that you see here, there's another one. There's actually usually seven or eight on a motherboard, um, depending on the quality of the motherboard. Next to this is called a, this is a four pin 12 volt uh, non-addressable RGB. Uh, that's what that is right there. This is where you're gonna stick your RAM or your DIMMs. So uh, the, the quality of the motherboard usually determines how much RAM can be supported. In most cases, it's about 128 gigs. Every once in a while, you'll get like more than that. You'll get 256 gigs. Um, I don't know what this particular motherboard is. I didn't really look into it uh, right beforehand. Uh, this right here is your EPS power. Um, sorry, your, sorry, your ATX power. This powers the other three quarters of your motherboard. Um, and then right here, we've got USB 3.2, which is for your front panel. It's usually those blue attachments on the front. Uh, here we have SATA connections. These are for hard drives. And then down here we have your front panel connections. We have front panels right here. Uh, we've got two USB 2. And then we've got, uh, again, more USB, sorry, more addressable, uh, non-addressable 12 volt. And then we've got a three pin five volt addressable RGB. So this is what, these are the most power, the most important connections on your board because the more RGB you have, the more powerful uh, your motherboard is. I mean, that's just, that's just how it is guys. More RGB equals more powerful. Uh, when I say addressable versus non-addressable, that means that you can actually change the color. Uh, that means that the colors can be addressed uh, versus non-addressable. That's what that necessarily means. Over here, this is your, uh, this over here is your HD audio, uh, which is like your Supreme FX, all that sort of stuff. This is a by 16, and then you have a, by, a single by eight uh, for your PCIe. And then you've got one, two, three by ones, and then you've got two M.2 slots. The un, Because this is B550, only the first one is PCIe Gen 4. This one is PCIe Gen 3. Um, and then this is your AM4 socket. And then for connectivity on the back, which is always like something else that you pay when you get a more premium board, is we've got a USB 3.2. Uh, we've got uh, your BIOS flashback, which is one of the things that you really want if you're doing a 5000 series install is this BIOS flashback button, which what this allows you to do is without having power or a CPU in the board or even a new CPU, you can just put a USB in here, hit that button and actually flash your BIOS to the latest BIOS. Uh, and then you've got Wi-Fi 6 on this motherboard as well as all that great audio stuff. So that's the motherboard in a glance. Hopefully that helps you as I start talking about stuff to, as I'm like, hey, I'm plugging in things here or plugging in things here. Uh, you guys have like a little bit of a tour so you know what stuff is, so. Uh, the mod mat is not, it's a custom mod mat that uh, Newegg made for uh, influencers. We actually made a new version of it. Hey, Tuzzilla, thank you very much for being a new Viking. Uh, we actually made a new version of it that we're gonna be selling on our, on our merch store. Uh, here uh, any day. We're just waiting for all that stuff to come in and then you guys should see it here pretty soon. Hyru wants to ask, can you put a Gen 3 in this top slot? Yes, you can. Yes, you, you don't have any issue with that. Okay, let's grab our, and you're gonna see me do that actually right here. Let's grab all our components for our motherboard and let's get started. Let's get this party started. It, it, so I, I think the problem is, is I actually don't have a preference. Um, X570, it feels like um, X570 being the first of its class, like there's some things in terms of actively cooling the chipset and stuff. There, um, I just, it's kind of an older motherboard standard. Um, so there's just a couple things that are nice about new B550s that they've learned from X570. But I have no preference in terms of which one you use. The question is, is that on X570, if you want PCIe Gen 4 everywhere, then you need to do X570. Um, if you're gonna do PCIe Gen 4 and you only care about it on the first by 16, the first M.2, and then off of the CPU, then you want to, then you're fine with B550. Uh, Skyrim fam, yeah, I have noticed that. I have noticed that with, um, I have noticed that specifically with Z590, but I haven't had that issue 
with AMD boards. Yeah, I know. Uh, sinful. We actually had that happen. Ooh, sorry. Uh, we actually had that happen. We actually had that happen uh, for us. We used a really nice. Uh, we used a really expensive uh, motherboard that also did not have BIOS flashback, um, and ended up. Uh, I ended up having the same thing. I was like, Why does this not have BIOS flashback? So yeah, I hear you, buddy. That 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 is annoying. And then you end up doing your install. And you're like, Oh, so now we always like. Luckily, I have a group of techs to uh, verify um, that um, I don't do that anymore. So, which is nice. Yeah, it's exclamation point Vikings, not Viking. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our CPU. We're just gonna take this to 90 degrees, pop this bad boy out. And what you wanna do is there's a little, there's a little, little arrow um, that lines up with the little arrow here on the, on the top of the board like so. Thank you very much, Geo Bear. appreciate it. Uh, and then you're just gonna push that down just like that. And there you go, now your CPU's installed and you are a better person because of it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and put in our RAM. It's RAM time. Oh, trying to open this up. Yeah, it's Smiley Bases, yeah, Smiley Bases getting ready. Then. Squishington, wow, thank you very much, man. Guys, we're so close on the Vikings. It makes me sad. It feels like we're stagnating. We just need 52 people, 52 people to go download that game, play through the 10 minute tutorial. While you're watching, you can play through it while you're right now or on mobile as well, mobile and PC. Uh, just download the game, play through the tutorial and we're gonna get to 500. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do a GPU giveaway. Come on, let's do it. We can do it. You guys can help me unlock it. So just exclamation point Vikings guys, and then uh, we'll, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make that stuff happen. Can you recommend a decent motherboard for a 10700K? Uh, honestly, any Z, I would do a Z590, any of the Z590s at this point in time. My favorite would be the Asus ROG Z590s, um, or the Aorus, um, the, any of the Aorus boards would be also be good. Honestly, man, most of them is like, is like you buy like one that's like in the 150 to one, the 150 and up you're in good shape. ASRock, you name it. I mean, the ASRock Extreme, man, that one actually has like working gears, which is pretty cool. Thank you very much, King Odin. You're in the game, by the way, King Odin. You have like, uh, because it's a Vikings game. Okay, there we go. What did I do with that other? Yeah, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the other thing? What do you advise for those who want a GPU for a new personal build right now? Honestly, the Newegg Shuffle or the, the EVGA uh, Q system are the top best ones. Um, outside of that, you can use things like Stock Tracker, which is like a Discord channel. Uh, there's Twitch channels you can watch and just basically constantly always look for something. But dude, it's it's just not easy no matter what you do. You know what I mean? Shop Tagger well, that we showed a little bit earlier was another good option. Um, so anything like that works. Have you ever, ever broken a RAM stick or motherboard while installing the RAM? No, I have not done that. Not for lack of trying, though. Here we go, guys. This is, these are good solid clicks. Ready? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good, good click. Uh, I prefer NVIDIA just because of uh, DLSS. Uh, AMD hasn't re released its version. I, I know they are working on their version. But honestly, DLSS 2.0 is just kind of magical. Also, some of their streaming tech, like Invec and things like that, just make it really hard to recommend Radeon right now. Oh, another good, good solid click. These are great clicks, guys. Great clicks. Not as good as the Crucial. The Crucial RAM, man, that was, that was something special, but still good. And uh, also looks rather nice. Rather nice, wouldn't you say? Rather nice. Okay, let's grab our M.2 here. You got two of them here. Wow stick time. Actually, that's not true. We're gonna get the wow stick just because it's fun to say wow stick. Wow stick, wow stick, wow stick, wow stick. It's like, uh, you guys remember like Thundercats, 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 ho! Oh! Yeah, but like it's wow with the wow stick. Or yeah, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know, which, I mean, do you guys think like, do you think, do you think wow stick or uh, Darth Vader's lightsaber. Which one? Which one? Like, do you think? Which one? Which one does it better? Like, that's the question. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it just feels feels better. 
I don't know, they're both pretty good, right? <clears throat> wow, so everybody's saying wow sticks. Those are some tall ram sticks. Yeah, they are pretty tall. They, they, they don't have the, they're not low, like low profile, like um, like the Corsair LPX, but they're about as the same height as like G-Skill, G-Skill, Trident Royal Zs or Trident Zs or any of those as well. Imagine Vader, dude, uh, Tigger, uh, Luke would have lost for sure if uh, Vader was, if Vader was wielding a WoW stick. You know that's true. You know that's true. <clears throat> and boom. Okay, there's one ready to go. Two ready to go. Somebody's asking, uh, somebody's asking why am I installing two M.2s? Uh, we have a tendency to separate um, like a 500 gig OS drive and a, um, also a <clears throat> application drive. Main reason being is that in most cases, in certain, well, in a lot of cases for M.2s, as drives fill up, the overall performance begins to drop. Um, and so uh, even in DRAMless situations, so the thing is, or a DRAM situation, so reason that we do this is that by separating these out and then leaving your OS drive with critical application drives separately, you end up with actually better performance on your PC uh, versus just putting everything on a single drive, so. <clears throat> That's true, Reverie. Reverie, imagine like Darth Vader having a WoW stick as his hand, you know what I mean? That would have been just like unstoppable. Um, let's grab our two cables here. There we go. We've been dancing through the world alone lately. Mm. I don't, yes, I never overclock commission builds. That's the responsibility of the person we purchased. <clears throat> Anybody? Let's get the going from there. I don't. Yeah, Jacob. I don't. I don't overclock them. Uh, Will o Olor Ram? Yes, for the most part. The only thing that you might is like if their their special edition like War is it Warbringer series or whatever it is. <clears throat> and there we go, new Viking. Someone, thank you very much for being new Viking. 449 guys, we're almost to. We're almost to 450, our last 50. Just so you guys know, our first goal was 320, and uh, <clears throat> it was uh, 320, and so uh, in the last two days, we've gotten to four, like, we got to like, what? We were like, yeah, we're, we're, we're crushing it, guys. Let's keep going. Thank you very much for all those installs. 451. Yeah, they did take all night, that was true, but it, we got it done. That's, they were super impressed. They were super impressed with how much we got it done. It's Vikings, by the way. Sorry, guys, not Viking. Uh, Luke, some it's uh, some applications, specifically 3D rendering, will use SLI and stuff like that. Isaiah, thank you very much for the five dollars. Um, but for the most part, no, there is no real practical reason to use two uh, two graphics cards. Okay, so we're gonna take our 500 gig NVMe and we'll put this up at the top. Again, there's a little slot. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. There's a little slot. Uh, you just pop it in just like that. And same thing with the bottom one down here. And boom, there we go. 450. You guys can help too. And the game's not bad. I've actually been playing it quite a bit. Um, I've been enjoying the game, so. Yeah, not if you, yeah. We knocked it out pretty darn quick, but I'm like, now like my palace is like one day plus to upgrade my palace. Tonight I'm hoping that we can run a couple, I'm gonna run some dungeons tonight is my hope. I finally figured out how to um, get all my, uh, get all my stuff, uh, all my, uh, those, uh, those specific things that allow me to run dungeons. So I'm pretty stoked. And then like my hero all has like, my hero now all has uh, like full, like full gear, which makes me happy. I've been busy in the game. We have a couple people who've been like doing a good job of keeping it maintained. It's a pretty fun game. You just got to learn it. Uh, I did get attacked a lot and lost a lot of resources that way, which kind of sucked. Um, so now I'm using peace treaties because uh, some level 25 dude just keeps attacking me. I was like, that's not nice. I'm a nice person, right? 
Why would you attack me? I'm nice. No, that guy was like, nope, nope, you're not, you're not. I don't think you're right. This is cool. By the way, this is like tooled a certain way. So if you have it backwards, it well, doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah. cool. I think this one goes on the bottom, does it? I think this one goes down here, doesn't it? Yep, I think this goes down here. There we go. And that's the cool thing about their, their M.2s is that they're actually tooled only one way, so there's only one way to install them. It's like, oh, okay. Okay, so here's our top one. That goes right here. Nope, that is not right. Son of a biscuit eater. After talking all that smack about like how they only tooled it one way, and then you sure enough, I messed it. It wasn't right. I'm going to just now I know it just looked When, when in doubt, use the picture. And installed. Okay, finally, got it done. That took way longer than it was supposed to. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> we don't have to worry about adding our, we do not have to worry about adding our You do not, we don't have to worry about adding our, um, our uh, <clears throat> AIO stuff. All we have to do now is just basically prep our case and then keep going. So there it is, fun time. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah, I have anti-static floor. 453, we're slowly climbing. We're in good shape, 75 subs. Okay, let's get our case out, start prepping our case. This is always fun. So here is our as a case right here. And the way this kind of works, and again, remember, cool thing about this one is it just pops open like that, which is neat. What we're gonna do is, when you kind of prep this, is first you close your knife so you don't cut yourself. And lay this down. And you open it up. Like that. And then we're gonna grab our wow stick. We're gonna remove our six screws. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna turn this this way. We have two more. There we go. And I think that should be all of them, right?
no, I missed one. One, two, three. Fan one. Okay. <clears throat> so I think there's, I thought there was three, six, but something is not stacking in this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it goes, okay. And we're done. Okay, so there is our case out. We're just gonna put this away. And there is that. For when we get to it later. Uh, uh. Okay, so now we just have our front case here. And I think this comes off. How did I get this off again last time? Got how to get this off. Just pulls off. There we go. Okay, so now our case is stripped and basically ready for us to do its stuff. And it makes it really easy to do this build because we just basically do everything right from within here, which is cool. Uh, okay. So go to top down. Whoa. 460, guys. It's happening. I think all of our screws are right here. We're just going to stick our motherboard down here. We just need to make sure that our Okay, now we have this wacky cable. Mm, I think that's okay. We could, it doesn't really, well, it does get in front of the yeah, IO shield, but. See if it blocks anything on the IO shield. I think it does. Might have to. Ugh. There we go. It kind of made it so this. We'll have to. We'll have to control this a little bit. We just want to get that pretty loose here. Run it that way, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and put our screws in here. Where are they? Thank you very much for the uh, subscription. There we go. These are the screws I care about. <clears throat> okay, now we're just gonna get our, our uh, motherboard screwed in and then we're gonna get this other part figured out here. Slowly, doozingly. There we go. Oopsie. Bottleneck. Back to you. Back to you. I feel like the WoW stick is losing like its magnetism after a while. Like it used to be super strong. 
don't know if it's like the head or. Reapply this and see if that fixes it. Okay. Help if I didn't jerk like that. Okay. Couple more screws, and then we will have a completed build, completed motherboard situation here. Ooh, we got more contributors too. Thirty-three out of sixty. Whoopsie. Where's that hole? Oh, there it is. This one is not quite. Okay, let's turn this sideways. It's kind of a nice thing about this board is just how malleable it is to work in because it's just like, because you're doing everything in the frame. It makes it a little bit easier to build in. Not a bad, like, if you're looking for like a first build, it's actually kind of like a really good, oops, really good case to just do a first build in. There we go. RGB. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove and rotate this fan to give the hole the other way, run the cables the other way. As much as the AZA being the right direction would be nice, just by the way, this hurricane fan is ridiculous. Just in terms of how much how much air this thing puts out, it's nuts. It's also a good looking RGB fan as well, which is kind of cool. But um, uh, I like the design of the fan. It's just it's it's crazy how much power this thing will put out. A lot more than I expected. It's like it's like a wind tunnel. I wonder if oh, it might be okay. We'll figure that out here in a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go, all of that stuff screwed in. Leave these kind of out of the side. There's a couple PSU ones in here, which is gonna be nice. <clears throat> we don't need anything else in here. Okay, cool. Now <clears throat> that we have that done, that done, <clears throat> we can actually run this through here and up through here. And then now we've got our RGB. Oh, yeah, this is never mind. That's not addressable. We'll have to run that one way down. Oh, it's just, is it not long enough? <clears throat> wow, this is where you wish you had a five pin addressable <clears throat> at the top. This can go through here. <coughs> um. <clears throat> Try and see if I can do it this way, actually. There's actually quite a bit of room behind the motherboard here. We're gonna try and run it the... There you go. That's all it took. I'm gonna try. I wanna run this cable.
I want to give this, there's one, this one cable is just kind of running, it's running me amuck right now, but. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. I'm just basically making sure that our RGB for our fan, which we only have one addressable RGB we have to worry about. Of course, these are all like the most difficult things to plug in here. Down. Sometimes it's a little easier to do it this way. Okay, cool. There's that. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run a single fan up here and connect it to our backup. There we go. Okay, so now this one fan is hooked up and that's good. Cool. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do our AIO. AI, AIO. And on this AIO, we had a farm. AI, AIO. There we are. <clears throat> With over, I, now that we're just space, basically just about to crest over a thousand people between YouTube and the thing I want to give you guys like a look. Again, my name is Justin Roby, the host of Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building and well, pretty much PC building. Like we're also going to do a little bit of gaming tonight. A couple things that are basically happening just to give you guys an update. We have a series of giveaways. First one that's going to happen is that we have a uh, level five hype train, which half of that's already happened. When we end up uh, getting the second one of those, which usually happens near the end of the stream, we're going to give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. We get 700 likes on the YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash robytech. Uh, if you get 700 likes there, we give away another 250 gig NVMe drive. Don't worry, you'll know when the, the giveaways are active and all that sort of stuff. And then finally, down there at the bottom left, you see that $100 new gift card. If we get to 100 subs, which we're at 75 right now, that becomes a $100 new gift card. If we get to 150 subs, it becomes a $150 new gift card. If we get to 300 subs, it becomes a 5600X. And then the more subs we get, the more giveaways that happen and all the crazy stuff happens. And trust me, we've done that. We've done that multiple, multiple times. Now, you also see this thing that says exclamation point Vikings. That's a that's a special that we're running from a game that we last we ran last week. All you gotta do is download the game, play through the tutorial. It's free to play. It's on mobile, it's on PC. If we get to uh, if we get to um, if we get to 500, um, once we get above the $150 new A gift card, then we'll give away a 3060 instead of a 5600X. So it just makes basically makes the GPUs, we're gonna give away a GPU more than likely tonight. That's what usually happens. Lastly, we have the sub only giveaway for the month of uh, March. We're giving away two 3070s here to two lucky subs over on Twitch. So if you're over at youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash newegg, first and foremost, thank you for watching. Love you and grateful. But if you want to pop on over to twitch.tv slash newegg, uh, twitch.tv slash robytech, sorry. You can use your free Amazon Prime subscription and potentially walk away with a free 3070 at the end of the month. Now, if you end up wanting to get extra entries for a 3070, you can drop uh, you basically can do gifted subs uh, or donating subs. That's one way to get extra entries. The other thing that you can do is you can subscribe to tier two or tier three. That actually gives you the most in terms of extra entries. And then finally subscribing for multiple months. Anyway, guys, that's the whole thing. That's the whole spiel. That's everything that's happening today. Hopefully you understand uh, what's going on. We're going to get back to our building, but I like to just basically take an, uh, an integration little break and tell you guys what's going on. Thank you very much, Brum Boy. Woo! <clears throat> Yeah, here's our warranty card. <clears throat> okay. Let's grab the stuff we need out of here, which we need all three of our fans, not just you fans. We need these. We do want to keep, I don't need that. We do need that, need that. We don't need this. Okay, so this and this and this and this can all go. Go in here. 
Then we'll take this out. We need that. So I'm gonna check something on this case before I put my fans on so I don't make the same mistake I did last time. We're gonna go ahead and do our, undo our fans here. Got yeah, stuck on my finger, that was weird. Okay. I think this, this out so he can control his RGB. There we go. I think that is all we need for now. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is, there was one thing that I hit last time. I'm trying to figure out what it was. So when I tried to install this last time, I wanted to do tubes up, but I stopped and I don't know why. Now this one is not as thick, but I'd like to do tubes up because I'd like to be able to use the full 360 degree rate, 360 radiator. We gotta see if that will work. No, this is not, this does not port this radiator. So it'll do a 360 rad, but it will not do a 360 AIO. This AIO is too big. And even if I flipped it over, like I did in the other one, it still would not work. And even then, like we still have a tube problem down here. Luckily, I foresaw this problem, and I bought a 240 just in case. Ugh. So we're gonna switch him out, but still use three fans, which is fine. So he'll still get the three fan situation he wants, but we're gonna have to use a 240 AIO. This is the one thing about uh, case stuff, especially when they say, hey, it'll use a certain radiator, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will use the right, you know what I mean, the right thing, so. We're gonna get that fixed real quick. Easy fix. This is why we tested it before we put all the fans and stuff together. So we're gonna switch his thing out real quick. Now we should still be able to do three fans. Test that too. but unfortunate. And for a 5600X, let's just be super clear that a 360 rad was a bit overkill, so. Okay, last thing. There we go. Now, 
this stuff back and then we're good. Four hundred and seventy, four hundred and seventy installs. We're doing it and doing it and doing it well. Okay. Gonna go grab the right AIO. Okay. Okay. Doo -doo. Okay, now rinse and repeat again. There's our fans. Our blue one. Pancho, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Need that one. Guys, if, if, it's, if it looks laggy, don't worry, it will return. I don't know what's going on. Twitch is, seems to be being weird. It's not anything here. It's just like we're getting some weirdness with Twitch. Okay. Now, I'm gonna check the same thing that I did on the other one because there's some weirdness here with how these mount. Top down. Thing I can do this way. We'll have to see. Nope. Again, same thing as the other one. I could do it like bottom. I think we're gonna have to. But the problem is, is that like the bottom mount. I could do it down here. I do middle. I guess I could do it here, and it's still it's still attached. Just be four screws, which would be okay. I just think that's gonna look better. And the other two is last time we had issues with it being behind the GPU, so we're, we're gonna have to do a little bit fewer screws, but that still should be okay. And it'll still be fine in terms of still got more than enough screws to hold it in. Um, okay. Ugh. Not really. Like they, they. The one thing I will say is like they didn't really consider. Like, it's almost like this case was really made for water cooling because it does not do manage AIO installation all that well. This is gonna go like this. Let me put these like this, okay. 
And then we should still have enough room for one more fan. There we go. Uh, this is for uh, this is for this is a uh, this is a um, uh, whoo, this is a commission build for Clueless Gamer. Mine seems a little slow today. Ooh, okay. I am having a good day today. Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. Appreciate it. It is a good day. Trying to get my, get the build done. One thing about building in unique cases, there's always like some little challenge, you know what I mean? Like the Cougar one was kind of interesting. It's like now when you do the Aza build, it's always like little pitfalls. Luckily, this is the second build we've done, so it's not like I'm learning as I do this. Like I'm being intentional about this stuff now because I just remember things as I built in it not that long ago. I think it was like mid, like what, two weeks ago? That was such a beautiful build though. I'm excited about this one too. Did anybody win? Did I'm just curious, did anybody win the RTX 3070 Strix, the white one? How are we doing on likes for YouTube? I like chicken. Congratulations, Brum Boy. Glad you like chicken. Uh, it's four hours. No, I have not watched yet. We're 30 away, guys, 30 away. That's crazy. We're getting so close to being done with the Viking stuff. No, the fans are not backwards. I could, you know, no, the fans are there. Uh, well, I'm curious, maybe I do, maybe I should do pull for this one instead of, instead of exhaust, I think maybe pull. Actually, pull might be better in this case. Guys, it's an open air case, but yeah, given that this is like mostly covered. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn them around. It's a good call. I'm gonna turn them around. I mean, it could, I mean, it's just basically, it's push, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, pull situation now. Oh, this one doesn't have it. I was gonna show you on here, but in most cases, got one right here. Oh, so if you're always curious, no, that's a one, geez, that's huge. So here we go. This is our third fan anyway, just because we need it anyway. But on most fans, if you look on the top here, you guys can, I'm already on the top fan. Let me zoom in here. You can actually see it shows you which way this is blowing, right? So right now, the way this is blowing is it is sucking air through and exhausting air out. So if I wanted to do the other way, I basically do that and then the air is coming out this way. So again, there's little arrows on many of the fans to show you the direction in which air goes. And so what's that, that's what they're talking about. Um, and giving the front, how, how constricted the front is for this one. Um, yes, in this case, I should just go ahead and maximize it for, maximize it for airflow. So I'm gonna switch these around. 
Because I'm front mounting this, not top mounting it like I normally do. Been so much torque here. Okay. 15 away from, we're 15 away from a hundred, $100 new gift card and we're 15, we're 20 away, 30 away from the goal for Vikings, guys. You guys have been so critical. Thank you very much for all your help on the Vikings stuff. Is there anybody, uh, in, anybody downloading the Vikings demo and just giving it a go so we can, uh, see if people are going we just only need 30 people 30 people to finish that out hey thanks hey, who doesn't love chicken yeah no kidding i like chicken more super chat hey green 570 doing 10 gifted subs we're now five away cyber future cash oh you're welcome dude i'm glad i was able to inspire you that's awesome, dude. Okay, there we go. So those are all installed now. Let us do this. Oh, there we go. Some more, another Viking joins us. I wanna go ahead and, for the sake of simplicity, Run our There we go. Just gonna zip tie our stuff together real quick. Vega dropping five gifted subs. There we go, buddy. Thank you very much, Vega. One of our top contributors. Oh show. Oh show. Let's see, what do we got here? I'm gonna I gotta Text somebody real quick, guys. Gifted subs are, uh, they, like, they're... Um... Just checking. Okay, just making sure, seeing if... Anybody want a 30, 70 Strix? I had so many people try and enter for me. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely nervous trying to win one. Um, so, okay, here we go. People ask like, hey, how do you get your GPUs? Well, now you're seeing it live on channel. This is how I get my GPUs. Oh. 471 Vikings. So many Vikings. Down to 29. There is no USB-C. There's no USB-C connection. So there, uh, he won't have USB-C. It doesn't have a USB-C connector. I got the plugs for GPUs. No, unfortunately I don't. I have the same plugs you do. Luckily, I just have some very kind people who will help me the same way. I just really want another Strix White 3070 for showcase builds. Unfortunately, I had to give the other one I had to the fine folks at Intel. And so I, I, help, I do desperately want one for builds. So. Okay, we got that done now. Gonna 
run that through here. Actually, I think it all fit through here, right? I like that about the uh, fractal one when we did that in this, the case the first time is that the fractal just had that really cool hub and stuff built into it, which was nifty neato. Okay, there we go. So luckily the screws on this thing are massive. Now I'm going to just check, do my check to see if, and then this is, the pump is well below the, the pump is well below the, which is good. So we're going to, so it shouldn't cause any problems there. Okay, cool. So we're good there. Again, I'd much rather with top mount, but we're gonna be okay with this. I'm wondering if... I don't know if this... And this thing is just not, like it's like 360 or, or you're done, right? Like it just will not let you. Okay, well, there we go. I guess that is how it's going to work. Just given the case, right? It doesn't quite use a normal 360 radiator. If before you sit there and you start saying, oh my God, Roby, you're doing the wrong thing for the pump, blah, blah, blah. I only watched five seconds of the Steve mail and now I know what's happening. Actually, the thing is, is that it's actually, we're not gonna have a problem. And the reason is, is that when you look at the, where the pump is in, re in, in, regard, in uh, reference to the top, the air bubbles will actually get stuck up here, so we actually won't have air bubbles stuck in the pump. So this will not cause it. This is a completely fine configuration for an AIO. Uh, if this was further down and even, then we'd have a problem. But given that this is highest point is here, we're actually not gonna have an issue. So I just wanna clarify that because I know I'm gonna get a ton of people who are gonna start freaking talking about that and you would be wrong. So that is an FYI. Let's go ahead and put this down. Did Vega go ham again? No, he didn't, did he? No, he's been okay. But yeah, I saw, yes, I did see that on the on the motherboard. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Thank you for, I saw that too. Thank you for reminding me. Let's get that in there. There we go. Okay, motherboard's in. Let's go and get our AIO mounted. Just an easy, easy thing here, and then we'll run our cables up. And luckily, there's just not a ton. There's only two, two fans, total three fans total to manage this thing with, which is really easy. So there's not a lot of. This is not going to go be a completely slow. One sec, guys. So we are good there. Let's go ahead and get our mounts. Where does the mount, there it is. 
Super chat hype. Oh, let's, sorry, I forgot. Let's change our graphic stuff here. And go sub goal. Okay, so we have, oh, oh, we got a new, there's a new Viking. We're now to our last 28. We're on our way to the next goal. 103, so we're need, so this is for a $150 new A gift card. Okay, guys, we're, we're, everything is coming together to do, to give a GPU away. We're at, this is the last goal we need to give a GPU away. We only need 47 more subs. So no matter what, and then we need 40, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. We need, and then we only need 28 more Vikings installs and we are super close guys. So I'm just saying it feels like a 3060 is getting out tonight. The AIO does, there's no, there's no way to mount an AIO on top, Roland. Uh, sorry, tile move over. There's no way to mount it. It's literally not possible. I'll show you, here you go, just so you can see. There you go. Now that, that should make it more clear. I haven't actually got to use it, the Arctic Freezer AIO. I haven't had a chance to use it, so I have no thoughts. Okay, there's that, and that, and that. Okay. Making sure I don't touch the stuff, and all we need is this, and these two things, and then we can put the rest of this away. go clean up our workspace clean up clean up everybody let's clean up clean up right that's the, aren't we gonna isn't that the song we go clean up clean up everybody let's clean up isn't that the song you guys sing when you clean Yeah, this is gonna be more than enough. This is gonna be a more than enough. This is gonna be uh, more than enough cooling for what he needs. I was just doing it more for aesthetics, but again, this case is kind of interesting in terms of how it works, so. Kind of interesting, very, very interesting, Mr. Roby. Very, very interesting. Okay, here we go. That's why I'm hanging on. So what we do is we just do this and then we clip it on. Okay, now let's tighten it up real quick. There we go, cooling in. Everything's good there. Now we're in good shape. The, the stuff is good. We'll have to do a little bit of training here. fine actually it's fine it's like actually remember the case the way the case works actually this kind of looks kind of neat because it's just going to be above which is kind of cool so i'll actually be okay now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our last two kind of cables we got to worry about here and run these 
And there's not a whole lot of cable management, unlike where you guys have seen builds where I'm doing like six, seven, eight fans. There's only two fans for this build. So this is gonna be quick, very fast. We had no bottleneck in here. I hope my, I hope my, uh, hope my, my uh, guys are drinking tonight because the key word is bottlenecking. Bottlenecking, bottlenecking, bottlenecking. And there's no bottleneck in this build. It's just because they were getting some questions. So they told me what the drinking word is today. And so now I know. And so they better be drinking. There we go. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie these tight. And we want this to look like a single cable coming up. Now, this it depends. I want his build to look good, no matter how he displays it, whether that's open or closed. So we're gonna make sure it does. Very simple, just a very clean, simple build, which I love. I think that's one of the things I really like about this case. Is we want it to look clean, 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 clean. It's still one per three minute. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Every three minutes, I have to say that word. That's unfortunate, because I liked it better when you guys just had to go. So everybody say, yeah. How are we doing the likes on the YouTube? Are we, are we doing pretty good? Numbers keep going up. We're getting, we're getting pretty high in terms of numbers. We're almost normal average here pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. That's nice and clean. It looks good. Oh, another Viking. That was a contributor. Ghost member 509 contributing. Wow, look at that. So we've got some contributors now. Guys, we are, let's uh, let's not forget. Let's get that last, let's get these last ones. We're, this is gonna go faster than you think. Okay, so everything here looks good. What we're gonna do now is turn this over, just hook up our fans real quick, make sure they're good, and then uh, move on from there, so. Ugh. Okay, so here is, this is the only, this is really only RGB I have. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Most of this stuff is actually already ret, set to run correctly. I'm hoping, yep, because that goes right there. And then this goes right here, and then this is power. HD audio goes right here, and our other ones are already done. So all the front panel stuff is actually mostly hooked up already. 473, guys. We're getting down to the last 25. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our, I think right here probably makes the most sense. And then this will go up here. There we go. Bottlenecking. So far good, Crispy. Yeah, I con the contributors are spending money in game, which we've had 34 people do on the clan. I did, I did, Tigger. We gotta get Tigger in the game tonight. I mean, in the clan, hopefully. Uh, Jester, we'll take care of it when we get into the game. Guys, if you uh, if you have downloaded the game and you have played through it, we will be playing. The clan name is AIAIO. It's currently full. We also have AIAIO2. Um, it is, that is, I think, is not full yet. Um, but AI, AI, AIO is our clan, um, is the one that is not, is the one that is full. Okay, so let's pull this.
Okay. Okay, let's get these, these controlled now. Okay. Find a nice, good link for this here. There we go. We're not going to crimp the wires too much, just enough to get them, keep them in, under control back here so they look nice. Just want them cable managed. Okay, got these that just got to get done, which are pretty straightforward. There's only two, so it makes it easy. There's one, and there's the other. There's that one. And there is that one. There we go. Now I'm gonna, I'll finish doing these once I hook the rest of that stuff up because I'm gonna figure out where we're going to place everything. <clears throat> and then go from there. Let's see. Okay, let us turn this over and, <laughs> whoa, excuse me, <laughs> get this stuff in. Okay, so easy things to do here. Put in our, well, we might want to do this a little bit higher. Do I come from this level actually? Okay. We have our USB 3.2, goes right here. Okay, and then we have our front panel connectors. There we go. And then, There we go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. I want that to not be a problem. There we go. Okay. That should be hidden. This is all hooked up, so we can take this out.
Naturally artificial, 74. Okay, um, now we have that, HD audio. There we go, okay. All of our stuff is hooked up now on the front. We're getting really close. Sleepy Gary drop in five gifted subs. Thank you, Sleepy. Guys, we are getting really close on all fronts. The giving away. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run one of these like this. Probably wanna, what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that this stays at a 90 degree. So this doesn't show up through the middle here. The way we do that is grab these right here. And then the rest of this then can go into this. And we still have the one cable coming through here, which isn't gonna be a big deal. And then the last bit that we wanna do, basically, this right here. There we go. And this will clean this little bit up. And now, one more little bit right here. Make sure it's all clean. There we go. And now we have a very clean looking build that is ready for prime time. Oop, oop, we almost forgot one. There we go. Okay, there we go. All of our stuff is hooked up here. It's all ready to go. Looks nice and clean. Oh, we I forgot about this. Almost spaced on our on our USB that we have to hook up for the, A the AIAIO. That would have been bad. Our controller module. Our 401 space modulator. Okay, here we go, that'll go right here. Here we go. Ugh. This is gonna stay loose because this has gotta get tied in. Maybe here is just give one little one right here. Okay. So now everything is hooked up and ready to go. Okay, everybody, let's say, let's say GPU time, because it's basically GPU time at this point in time. This is gonna go in here and get hooked up in the shroud. We only have one little extra cable to plug in, which is nice. Front of this build looks good. We'll run our power cable that'll cover that. And we are in we're cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen. Cooking with the gas. Let's go to our side view. Get our GPU out. 
We're still cranking through, uh, still cranking through Vikings. We're at 475. You did just hear GPU time at 733. We're getting close to the second, uh, we're getting close to that second, um, getting close to that second uh, hype train too. 3060. Here it is, we got our sag bracket. Don't want no sag bracket. It's our GP bra. See you later, AJ, LJ. Uh, CD secondary, I can see your chat. Appreciate that, LJ. Okay, that's all done. GPU. I don't think there's as much. I think there's a little bit of peel there. A little bit different than the Strix 3070. Uh, it does seem shorter. Uh, sorry, than the uh, sorry than the uh, Trio 3070. It's all black, so more black than the than the Trio. Um, still the same amount of RGB it seems, um, but shorter in terms of the RGB bar. Still requiring two four us uh, two eight pin, which is cool. Um, and then I think that's gonna be neat too. So we gotta figure out how to do that. We got a couple peels here. That's kind of it. Another Viking. The wife said no. <laughs> the wife said no. On her way, last, almost to the last 20. Yeah, I know, the XC3. We're getting there, guys. Sorry. Last peel's been kind of painful. There we go. Okay. I think that's all the peels. Fully appealed. <laughs> okay. Take this off. There we go. We're getting super. Like I keep, I keep looking up and seeing more Vikings. 479. Okay, let's go to top down. Oops, I already have the screws in here for this, most of this. going to look really good with this with this uh, with this case down a bit there we 
go. I think that was the one I didn't want to put down. Sorry, I actually probably want to plug that one in. Screw that one. This is looking very good. I'm really liking how this is turning out, honestly. Always makes me happy. Throw a sag bracket in there. Okay, there we go. We're gonna grab one more screw. What do we do with the, the bag of screws for the case? Bag of screws, where are you there? Okay. There we go, all the screws are in. And now for the next step, and that is getting the, oh, one sec guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna check something while we're going. Don't forget, uh, we'll go to wide so you guys can just get a view of the studio as we, as we I check something. Choosing the wrong, I had like the wrong color. I wanted CPU black. I wanted black, all black cables. So that's what I was looking for. And I found it. I found it. Found it right here. I found it. Okay, here we go. Time to get our cable combs in. Okay. So, there's our cables, our stuff, white ones. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we need that one, that one, and we need that one. These go up here for now. Actually, okay, there's that. Let's put our music on. Our songs just ended, and keep it keep it going, keep it going. One hundred thirteen subs. How many how many Vikings we got? I haven't looked. No. Uh, 
Uh, it's A-I-A-I-O, guys. I, don't worry, we're playing some Vikings tonight. I mean, especially given the time that we've had so far. Uh, we're gonna be playing some Vikings tonight, so don't worry, we'll, we'll get you guys in there and stuff like that too. Okay. What we need, this one's gonna go there. Okay, so we want our cables to do this. We want it to do this. Putting our cables on. Our cable combs. Cable comb time. Combing my cables. Build's coming along, yeah, for sure. It's almost, uh, it's actually very close to done. After we do this, uh, we got a little bit of cable management, then we put in our PSU and turn it on. And then we uh, play some games for a little bit. Playing some Viking Clan of War, trying to get, uh, we're like 20 away from the installs we need. So again, uh, if you guys are down, uh, we're, we're running a special, if you wanna support me, um, Check out the game exclamation point Vikings. You're gonna see a link for it right here. Uh, just download the game, uh, play through the tutorial. Uh, you get, I get a little money for it and you're helping support me at the same time. And then also when we get to 150 subs, uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely uh, move towards giving a GPU away as well, which is what it also unlocks. So super close, we're getting up and doing it and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And so you guys have been so awesome. The fact that we've done this in like a week, we've gotten 500 people to install and oh, just about 500 people install and draw, install and try this game. And then we're gonna play a little bit of it tonight as well. We should have plenty of time given what how we're going so far. Okay, so first one top down. There we go. Here's the first one, first cable. go top one there's that now let's run our two gpus actually we can do our cpu real quick so this goes like this Uh, so, tar Tarantis, the ones that I link, Asia Horse, if you look for Asia Horse, they have specific what are called double CPU, triple GPU. The kit that I'm using right now is actually one of those. Um, and it actually comes with three GPU and two CPU um, for you. Um, it's perfect and doesn't include any of the three pin. So, uh, Asia Horse is the brand you want to look into. And you can see the, the things. Newegg has them. Okay, there's that. Now we just need our two GPUs. I'm just gonna run them right through here. Makes the most sense. Okay. We are actually doing a 5000D one. I don't know about a 4000X, but the 5000D is gonna be so close. Well, uh, uh, true bacon, you can, true baka, you can look at the, uh, you can look at the parts list. It's all there. It's actually, uh, actually, it's pretty easy. Simply given that the GPU price is not, is the GPU price is not $400, it's 600 bucks, so. Yeah, dude, you need to look at the cost, man. Yeah, true, I get it. Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, there was a time, like, I could do this build and pretty much do, like, at least a 3060 Ti, and, and if you really were smart, well, not smart, but if you really skimped, 
you could do a 3070 build at this price, but 3070s at the time were all, well, no, they were, they were, yeah, you could do a 3070 build back in the day. Now 3070s were what 3080s cost. 3060 Ti's are, I mean, and you can even get 3070s that are like 800 bucks. Cody, I said, no, probably not. We're not, probably not gonna do that. Sorry, man. Gave you a lot of we gave you a lot of cable combs on this one, which is kind of nice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Five. Okay. Oh, geez, that's a CPU one. That's I was like, wait a minute, that's not working. That's new. Uh, by the way, um, I forgot to say bottleneck. Yes, they are, Evo Heart. They are totally fine. first ever PC. It was an X286 with like 384K of shadow RAM, like 12 megabyte hard drive was my, uh, was my first PC. Yeah, they can. Like totally, man. They can totally be the, the cable comes going to be a big bottleneck process. I need to figure out what to do with channel points. Maybe that's something Blondie can get some ideas on, on how to use channel points. We have a lot of channel points. Guys, we're 20 away from the course. We're 20 away. 20 away from the, uh, officially 20 away from the 500. Let's not leave it till the end. Let's get, let's get, let's get it done before we actually get before the end. Same thing. Let's, let's, uh, open some, some, uh, some nice, uh, gifted subs. I think we're going to be pretty close to doing the last, um, I'm doing the last, um, hype train here. Pretty soon. Come on, there we go. Yeah, figure out this. Figure out this. Okay, this is. These are both gonna go right into here. Cable comes can be such a bottleneck when it comes to building, you know? Okay. There's all those. We just got to make sure this tries to do very hard in terms of 
Okay, we now need to, which is a lot easier, um, we need to, I'll figure this out here in a minute. Um, I forgot the PSU installs weirdly. So we gotta undo this. Take that off. Okay, so now we've got our PSU shroud out. Let's grab our PSU. Let's go to our side view and let's grab our PSU and get that done. One nineteen. The Viking stuff has been has kind of stopped. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's do this just to make the well, let's let's uh, let's let's see if we can get the Viking stuff to, to kind of take off real quick because I don't want to. I'm hoping we don't have to worry about. It. We're too close that I don't want to make the game night look, go a lot longer than it needs to be. So I'll tell you what, if we get uh, before the end of the stream, where it where it uh, if we get to before the end of the stream, we'll double. Uh, the power of the before the end of the game of the build stream will double the size of the NVMe drive. So instead of 250 gigs, we'll give away two 500 gigs, uh, no matter what. Um, all we need to do is get those last 20 installs. If you want to be helpful, all you got to do is hit exclamation point Vikings, download Viking Clan of War, play through the tutorial. There's nothing, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. All you got to do is basically play through it. And that's all there is to it. And then you're, you're uh, set up and done. Um, and it's a big thing for helping support me and all that sort of stuff. I just don't want to make the, I don't want to make us wait when we play the game for us to try and do it because we're just so close. So it's uh, it's an easy thing for you to do. We only need 30 people to do it. There's a uh, there's 1,200 of you here uh, right now. So uh, if you're on YouTube or on Twitch, all you got to do is download the game. Uh, if you are on Android or mobile, specifically on Android, you got to paste the you got to paste the link into a browser. Unfortunately, uh, the Twitch app on Android uh, kind of blocks that stuff. So anyway, give it a go, 10 minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna do an extra, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a giveaway there at the end for a 500 gig uh, NVMe. We'll, uh, we'll up them up, we'll up them up. Yeah, up them up and uh, make them that much better. Okay, let's go over our side view and let's do our GPU. Yeah. Okay, so 750 watt GPU, it's a PSU. We're gonna have to smell this one. This is our first in a while of, um, okay, that. There's a VGA one in there, so I'll we'll have to look at that one. We'll need one. Wow, these are weird cable connections. Okay. Oh, that's right, this one is semi-modular, so it's not fully modular. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Okay, power cable goes in there for him. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, actually, actually, that one doesn't smell. That one doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like lotion. That was weird. No, uh, no real smell on that one. EVGA is a great PSU, yes, especially their G5. go. It's a pretty black there. Okay, so there's our PSU. What we need is we need a couple VGA, some CPUs, all that sort of stuff. So there's very easy things to do. So there we'll need one of these. Actually, we need like a small one. So there you go. There's there's one. So there's, we'll need one of those, which is our SATA. <laughs> uh, we'll need 
There we go. Uh, we'll need one CPU. There is a Viking. Getting those last ones. Thank you very much, Porgy. There's a Viking. And that is that for this group. Okay. Okay, we out of this one we need We'll just do it to be safe. We'll do two VGA. And then that is all we need. And we'll use one of these. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our first VGA and put it into VGA one. Second VGA and give it into VGA two. VGA du. There we go. Then we're gonna grab our SATA and put it into SATA one. Nobody's sad about that. Get our CPU, uh, and this one is CPU one. Put it into CPU one. There we go. All of our cables are in. Okay, now what we're gonna do, to make things easier. We're gonna go ahead and draw. Looking at the case here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Those are all kind of controlled. I'm gonna put this up now so you guys can see. And move this over, because these are for the other case. Move that over. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, so what we're gonna do, there we go. We're gonna run all our cables to the bottom. Okay, so there's all of our cables on the, oops, shoot. Okay, let's now screw in our PSU. And this one, let's use our special screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver's in. Okay, all of our screws are now in and tight. Okay, so now our PSU is mounted. I'm gonna grab our little cover here. We'll 
one little Covers on. Knocked it. There it is. Okay, so now our covers on and our PSU is installed. Peel that back down, and we're good to go. Now comes the fun part: hooking up our last cables. A little bit of cable management, and we are done. And we are at 493 fun times, dropping some gifted subs. I think we're, we gotta be, I'm pretty sure we're at, um, we should be at a hype train. Vikings almost done. Everything's almost done. Okay. 494 Vikings. You guys are awesome, thank you. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're literally going to start, and I'll, I can cable manage this from the bottom. Just start putting these in and then we'll cable clean them up. There's a nice little crowd area down here. Kind of storing as much of this stuff as I can. I probably want to use this one, actually. I don't want these to be too tight. Next one. Four hundred ninety-six Vikings. Definitely on the. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? Okay, so there's that. Now the question is, how do we make them not be crazy? It's like one of the things that it loves to do here at the end is we have to keep these in a good spot. I might actually, actually what I'll do is Got that locked down. So we can store the rest of these because they don't really need to do anything. Now, we have a CPU cable. Use a little love. Nothing too crazy. Oops, you guys are not seeing anything. Sorry. Got the angle wrong there. Four hundred and ninety-eight Vikings. I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, our last cable for the whole thing. I figure the best way, I think maybe the best way is maybe it's over here.
$4.99. And this one, we're just trying to make sure we get the curvature right. Again, it's all about making the end, the in front product look good. I mean, it's not to say that the back is gonna look bad. It's just making sure that the, you want the front to look the best, obviously. There it is, number 500, guys. Congratulations, you did it. That means we're doubling. Wait a minute, why did it not go up? Oh, there it is. It's like, where did it not go up? You guys are incredible. Thank you very much for all your help. That was huge, super appreciated. Again, I told them my community could do it and they did. And you guys are awesome. Okay, that is good. Now all I gotta do is I'm gonna cable manage this one little part down here underneath that you guys can't see. Good, I'm glad you like it. I actually like it too. Now that I'm starting to understand it a whole lot more, I played it a bunch this afternoon, um, getting my stuff caught up to level nine. I've actually really kind of enjoyed the game. So yeah, that's always the thing. It's like some, it's not gonna be for everybody, but uh, hopefully we'll get some new people in the clan who don't, like there's hopefully some people here who didn't like, who don't wanna play um, and we can, uh, oops, that would have been throwing it into the case. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do one. We have a little bit of more cable management just underneath, but the back is pretty much done. All nice and controlled. And again, I'm just keeping things away from holes so it looks great in the front, and which is like one of the main things I want, right? Grab our big cable cone, cables, cables. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one and just make sure there's no dangling cables underneath. There you go. Okay. Okay, PC is done. Take a look at the front, just make sure we're good there. Urgh. It looks clean, it looks nice. And there we go. That looks great. I think that is a very clean looking build. Now we just got to get it inside of its case. Cool. Let's get this stuff put away. We don't need this anymore. Okay. Now let's get this over here. Ooh. And we still have to do, put it inside of its case. in
one of those things I just got to get one pillar through. Blocking it. Okay, let me put this down more. got to be able to get above it really well. Okay. Oh, that would help. Those are lined up, but it feels like it's not, it feels like it's all the way in, but I don't think those are going to go on. I think they're supposed to. Maybe I'm wrong. Do something. It's not here. Nothing. That's, is it hitting something that's keeping it from? Oh, I see. You have to do it. That's right. There is a, I was like, oh yeah, there's, there's a, there's an unlock. There's things that it has to like grip on first. And so I'm trying to find those grips. And once it gets those grips, then it goes. Fun times. It's gonna sit all of a sudden. And that's what's keeping it. There's nothing I can do in terms of I get this to sit. Yeah, those little pegs are keeping it from getting in. Is there something blocking the peg? No. No. Peg should just go in first, and then the other part happens. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, this is like just a, just that too complicated in terms of. Okay, so now they're lined up, but I won't go into the peg thing. Oh, it's, gotta be, oh, it's that one. There it goes. Okay, there we go. Got it. That took some work. Sorry. Okay, got it. Just getting the, getting the, getting, had to go like a certain way to get to lock in. And then once it locked in, you're good, but you just gotta, you gotta work with the case until it would do that.
Okay. Other side. There we go. One more screw, guys. 126. Let's go ahead and start the hype train, guys, because we're basically finished with the build. Somebody start hype train. The way hype train works is all we got to do is do bits, gifted subs. Let's kick it off. I know we can hit it now. Um, there it is. Ugh. God, that looks good. It's like, it's perfect. I just like this case. It's, I mean, it's it's harder to, there it is, hype train, starting off. Let's see if we can get 1,000%, kick off the build. Let's get to that, let's get to that 3060 giveaway. Going to cam link right there. And then once we finish hype train, we'll turn on the build. There it is right there. Look at that. That looks so good. And again, when you go in there and then you can just open it up and then it shows off the components of your build as well. So it's just a different kind of case. You know what I mean? So there it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it looked, I think it came out really good. So there's the build. We'll turn it on as soon as we're done. I'm gonna grab a dust thing, and then we're gonna start calling out people who are, who are doing gifted subs. Remember guys, we have those dual 3070s. Lol, what Bree dropping it. There's another, there's another uh, always sponsor right there. Another big sponsor of the channel, Lol, what Bree. He, uh, he, does, he does a lot of a blue moo, dropping his 10. Another massive sponsor like uh, CKCC and uh, Psycho and the, the, that team, as well as Vega. So thank you very much for that. Savage Street K, thank you for the one gifted, the one, the one gifted sub. I'm of unforgivable. Clark5613, thank you very much. Super Doomsday. There we are right there. Now, we guys, we are working towards that 3060. Uh, let's see, if we can get to 200, then uh, we'll go ahead and do the 3060. I'll, I'll, I'll drop it down. Usually we do 300, but if we get to 200, uh, Poncho, did you, did you get it started? Oh man, the uh, the uh, the uh, airflow is ridiculous because of this back fan. I love this back fan. It's pretty crazy. So let's do it, guys. We just need we just need a couple more. Let's get to a thousand percent. Remember, two hundred subs, and then we'll give away a thirty sixty. You guys have earned that with the Viking stuff, um, and go from there. Doesn't look like it'll bottleneck anything. That's a good point, Tom. That's a good point right there. Uh, Sama Ben. Hayden TV, thank you very much for that. Boondoggle, thank you for the one gifted sub as well. Uh, the case is two hundred dollars, so it's a it's a it's a pricey case, but um, it's all aluminum and there's a lot of stuff to it. Thank you very much for all that stuff. Uh, we're going to be selling these mats uh, here pretty soon, so keep paying attention. Kif ninety four, thank you very much for the five gifted subs, guys. One fifty eight on our way. Five hundred Vikings as well. It's only eight twenty two p.m. Yeah, uh, I'm curious, Clueless, what do you think? It looks good, doesn't it? That is a good looking PC. Airflow is ridiculous. Um, it is an open air case though. Let me get ready to turn on here in a minute. Once you guys are done. Thank you for Blue Jay gifting five gifted subs. Okay, there we go. Harms 9909, five gifted subs. We're at 171. 171, guys. 176. There we go, right there. 623. Hype train looking at kill it. Two minutes left still, guys. We get to if we get to uh, 200 during this hype train, uh, then we'll uh, we'll basically give away 3060. Hashtag, there we go, Mr. Goat. There we go, giving out five gifted subs as well. We're 181, 19 more to go. So if we get to 300 subs, there won't be anything. The next one will happen at 450 and that'll be a 3060 Ti. I'm just bringing the 3060 in because you guys were so amazing with the Viking stuff. 
Ruland Dude, five gifted subs. You are awesome. Let's take a look at our audience, by the way. We're gonna take a look at 463 hanging out on YouTube, uh, 732 on uh, Twitch, and then 96 on twitch.tv slash newegg. Mad Cow Surge, dropping it like it's hot. There we go. Thousand percent, guys. There we are, 204 subs. Let's keep it going, though. We still got two minutes left. Again, if we get to 400, sorry, if we get to, yeah, 450. If we get to 450, we'll give away a 3060 Ti. Keep it going, guys. SoCal dropping 20. There he goes right there. 20 gifted subs right there from SoCal. Let's keep it, we can do it. We can do it, guys. Heading towards a 3060 Ti now. One minute and 34 seconds left, guys. And then we'll turn on the PC. Yeah, who doesn't have a sub? KT dropping five gifted subs. KT231. Art Fulia. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Amazing. There we are. Skyrim fan giving out two tier one community subs right there. We're 234 SoCal. Again, with the thing. Hey, Roby, haven't been able to catch your stream for the last two weeks. Crazy. But hey, thank you very much. Yeah, I think this one came out good. Let's get to 2,000%, guys. One minute. 1666 whoa holy rick rice balls there he is holy rice balls dropping his 10 gifted subs another huge supporter big supporter there there we are 250 now 47 percent smiley face thank you very much for the one gifted sub uh kogram 99 thank you very much for his uh prime uh this song is up it's up on soundstripe guys give it a check uh, give it a look nzxt question Subscribing with Prime. 251, guys. Night. We have one minute left and 100%. Come on, let's do it. Can we get 100% more? Can somebody just drop it? There, SoCal Isaac dropping 20 more. There we go. There's that 2,000% very easily, I'm guessing. Vapor is dropping it right there. Guys, we are now within spinning distance of a 3060 Ti. Easily. That is crazy. Why didn't it go up? That's weird. It should have gone up. It definitely, we definitely hit 2,000%. And there it is. 22, uh, and we are good there. Okay, just to celebrate that amazing hype train, I'll put up the next goal because we still got a little bit of gaming to do. Hitting that power. Pushing that button. Oh, man. Did I not? That would be a... Oh, is this plugged in? This would be a first ever. Oh, no, it's on. Okay. No, it's gone. There we go. I was just being weird. Okay, cool. Woo! I got nervous there for a second. This didn't plug in all the way. There it is. It is on. Kaboom. By the way, this fan in the back, I love the airflow of this back fan. It is so cool. I, you know, it's as bad as that sounds, but yeah. That is beautiful. And then again, remember the cool thing you can do is you can just go like this, which is gonna give you better PC, better airflow. And then, uh, you know, you're just, you're just showing off, just showing off that CPU, that uh, PSU right there. This looks great. Like my my uh, cameras having a hard time figuring out what to go what to go from there. Okay, let's get you guys over on the side camera, then we'll start our giveaways, and we'll uh, we'll get right to some gameplay. We'll start our gameplay stuff here. We still got 30 minutes of gameplay. We're still gonna do. Um, you guys have earned it. And then uh, let me go ahead and uh, put up the next goal because we're not gonna do this until we'll do the we'll do the community giveaways here, but we won't do the last ones until the end. Uh, 274, 275. Okay, so we're on our way to a 3060 Ti giveaway. Not give a watch. Uh, that is, uh, that's uh, 450. We're at 275. There we go. Okay, there it is right there. Um, and let's get you guys over the side view and then we'll do that first giveaway and then we'll get to some game, play some games. Play, play a little bit of that Viking game. Oh, 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 there it is right there. You guys can see it. Put up the side cam a little bit better it does pulse, by the way I'll show you that here in a minute there you go 
How's that? That's a good view. Okay. There is Clueless Gamers PC. I think it came out pretty good, I must say. Beautiful, and by the way, like I said, I did want to let you guys know it did post. There's the post right there, it is ready to go. So there it is, it is in and it is up. Just takes a second. There it is right there. And you have a post. All right, thank you very much, Chad Bohms, for that. So let's do our first giveaway. Everybody say thank you. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Twitch. I don't know how many how many YouTube likes did we end up getting. I'm assuming we're fine, but um, I'm assuming we're fine there. But I'm just curious, how many, how many YouTube videos, how many YouTube likes did we end up getting? Oopsie. No, we didn't do oopsie this time. I don't, I'm waiting to see what it is. 667. So we're like 33 short, guys. Go hit, go over real quick before you can do this giveaway. Head on over to youtube.com slash robytech. Hit that thumbs up button. We only need 33 and then we'll do both giveaways. And remember, those are both 500 gigabyte, 500 gigabyte NVMEs. Go, go hit that, uh, go hit those, uh, go hit those, uh, uh, that like real quick. And then we'll get it done. 673, guys. Come on, let's just, let's rock it up. Rocket it up. Diesel Smoke dropping some uh, gifted subs. Appreciate that. 277. We're on our way towards a 3060 Ti. 704. There we go. Let's get yeah, the hype train. We totally broke the, we, we broke the, ho uh, the hype train fight both times. Uh, is the rear found loud? No, it is very quiet. And it blows so much air. This thing is so powerful. I love this fan. It is quiet as heck, too. And it sounds good when you talk into it. Oh, there it goes. And the funny thing is, is like Hype Train will be done. It'll be like, yeah, I don't know what happened. Such shot, strong support. That's what it says. Yeah, I really like that rear fan. 761, what kind of fan? It's actually made by Aza. It's called the Aza Typhoon. Uh, it's something like that. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's a really great, really great fan. Uh, I really like the way it looks. And then again, the cool thing about this case is that you just drop it down like this, right? And uh, now you're... Now you got it. Now it's more airflow for focused, even though the front is like super restricted, but and then you're just showing off that GPU, that very sick GPU. I don't know, man, this case, I was pretty excited that he wanted to do a build in this case. Um, it, it came out super cool. 800 likes, well, there we go. Let's go and uh, let's go and do the first giveaway. Everybody say, we already said thank you. So this one is gonna be, uh, we're gonna be giving away two 500 gig NVMe SSDs. You got two minutes to get in on this. So pretty straightforward. Um, Custom. Okay, so we're gonna give away two 500 gig NVMEs. Where is it? 250, where are they? I know I have them. I'm trying to find them. I guess only, okay, I'm gonna fix this. Okay guys, one second. And then uh, entry point for this is gonna be, uh, entry point for this is going to be, uh, Community, exclamation point community. You only have to enter once. If you spam it, you could get timed out. So don't do that. Uh, exclamation point community is the entry for this. And I'm gonna start that giveaway now. Two minutes, guys. Uh, here you go. Let me go ahead and hit that. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna go grab my, grab my, my chair. So we can play, some, play a little bit of Vikings tonight. Just to end it on a good note. We kind of ended a little early, which uh, Blondie and I were just both pretty nervous. They were actually going to jinx it. It ended up going well. Which is always a good thing. Okay. There we go. Grab our chair. For some game in action. I should have put this in the studio before, but I just forgot. Luckily, we have like a lot of room in the studio now. Ugh. Here we go. 
Oopsie. Okay. So we're ready for some gaming here. Uh, 33 seconds left on that, on the timer. Now, if you do not mind, and we're gonna play a little bit of Vikings together, if you do not mind and you are in the guild and you don't mind giving it a pass, that would be amazing. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, and leaving, if you don't plan on playing, we're trying to make room for people who do wanna play, so I'd appreciate that. We're gonna be starting that here in about, what, five minutes? Maybe a little bit, okay. Okay, well, there we go. Congratulations to Michael Davis, Michael, Michael Davies. Michael Davies, you are the first winner of a 500 gig MVME. And then Cruel 55, Cruel 55, you are the second winner of a 500 gig MVME SSD. Okay, um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we still are relatively close, so we're gonna keep it up there. We're gonna play about 30 minutes of, we're gonna play about 30 minutes of, um, uh, we're gonna play about 30 minutes of uh, Viking Total War. So that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, sorry, Viking Clan of War, Viking Clans of War. We're gonna play that till about nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, we'll do our drawing for our final giveaway, which is right now currently a 3060. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna just grab my laptop and uh, set ourselves up. So give me one second, we'll just take a second, and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a go here in a thing. So one second. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Get our side camera, because I think this is the camera we're gonna wanna use. I wanna switch to, oh no, I wanna do piece of camera, sorry. I wanna do the, okay, side camera's up. Okay, so here we go, uh, playing some, uh, this is, uh, I wanna know if anybody, uh, in terms of, oh, and let me start that, I think, yeah, well, we. I don't think we really need the music here.
Okay, let me uh, start stop though. Let me stop our other music real quick. Okay. So welcome. Uh, well, this is the Viking uh, Clan of Wars. Uh, we I've been playing this uh, quite a bit. Um, that's what we're playing today. I'm gonna bring my. I can see my chat, which is great. Um, and then go from there. Uh, so as you can see, uh, since the last time I played, quite a bit has happened. I'm now level nine across the board. Got some other things going on here. Uh, do we have, the question is, has anybody left the clan? Let's look at our clan here. Our membership is 100. Okay, so nobody left the clan. We have no room in the clan, guys. I was hoping that people would leave. Unfortunately, nobody did leave. Um, which kind of sucks. Okay, something, what was that? Oh, I got a bunch of resources. Thank you very much for the marches. Oh, people are marching. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go, let's go send my troops out. I did end up having to go to peace, uh, because, uh, some, some dudes attacked me and that wasn't very nice of them. And I didn't like that at all. Um, so we're going to go and, uh, I can't, I don't think you can attack anybody when you're under peace. Yeah, but I am going to go get some, I'm going to go get some resources. I still can't kill any any bad dudes like ooh here wait can i kill this ooh so i still can't do this i have to get to unlock invaders level four so i'm still been working on that but i can at least send some dudes to go get some uh, get some food so we're going to send 10 mercenaries and get some of that going okay here we go we got some mercenaries going now we do have a backup guild as well guys aiaio2 is the name of the backup guild and the other thing too is do not forget, we're still still going towards that 3060 Ti giveaway, uh, which we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna do the drawing for that in about 20 minutes. So if we wanna unlock that, um, we can give that a go. We can give that a go as well. Okay, um, let's see what else we got. This is under, I'm there. I, I pretty much maxed in terms of what I have for giveaways. Um, sorry, in terms of uh, what I have for, uh, for upgrades. I don't know what this VIP status is, but I'm gonna activate it. I'm gonna, we got 30 minutes, so there we go. I'm gonna activate it, and there we go. And then uh, go to bonuses. Oops. Okay, so let's go to here, and then let's start this. Okay, six minutes on that one. And then let's open our, get our reward here. Okay, so this is what's going on. I don't, I wonder if I can train, like, can I train my main knowledge here? Like, I want this, like, invader thing. Well, let's go, hold on, hold on, let's go back here. Go to invaders. Okay, so this is what, what do I need for this? Upgrade. Well, how do I get to Invaders 2? Oh, so you have to have all this stuff. Okay, whatever. There we go. I'm, I'm going to get to the point where I can fight some invaders. What do I need for this? Okay, here we go. I have a lot of gold, so it's fine. I need Hero Speed Level 4. Okay. There you go. Can I do it now? There we go. I got Unlock Invaders 2. There's all the way to 3. So I think, can I can I fight something now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm playing on a laptop. Yeah, I'm playing on my, I'm playing on my, uh, my, uh, I'm, uh, playing on my Razor Blade. Knowledge upgraded and the heroes in town. Okay, so hopefully I'll do that stuff. Reinforcements have arrived, but I've got some things. Okay, so let's, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and go and run some dungeon stuff. I've been trying to upgrade my, my heroes like equipped and stuff like that, but I haven't run it. I was, I was saving this for tonight. Some, some dungeon, some dungeon running um, here in my, uh, here in my town. Now, if you check this out, check it out. My dude's almost fully, uh, fully equipped. Um, I need some, I, do, I need, I'm trying to build these plated tassels, but I need nether alloy. And uh, I bought 10 earlier. Oh, maybe I can buy some now. Nope, nothing, no nether alloy in the, in the store and get this pure crystal. Um, so let's go ahead and run. We're gonna do some dungeon running. We're gonna go through floor two and keep it going here. Now, if you wanna check this out, remember guys, oh, let me, let me re-show this, the Viking thing. Sorry, I, I, I hit it. There it is. So. There's the Viking goal. We're still, you're still play. We're at 511 Vikings. Um, we do have a second guild. If you want to join, I'm hoping that somebody bails and then we'll be able to get more people in. Uh, is there a build list for the PC? There is. 
Uh, exclamation point, uh, our, our, uh, our mods will throw that in there, get that in there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna throw, go through here and explore this and do some exploration, guys. Vikings War of Clans, thank you, Icon. Yeah, that's the name of the game. I always mix up the name. Okay, here we go. My hero's here. I just do auto attack because honestly, uh, but my dude's pretty, pretty, ooh, yeah, that guy just, she just got rocked. Ooh, and I got some, I got some, some iron stuff. And then again, you've got a map here. I've got 20, but we're going to do some dungeon running while we wait. Um, and I'm hoping I can, like, kill a, kill a dude. But I've been, like, I've been, I have been, uh, I've been working at this. Now, there's some stuff. I don't know if there's anything we get, um, uh, I don't think there's anything we get for, uh, for basically, um, is there stuff I need to do for the clan as like the clan leader? Is there things that I can unlock? I got a mead hall, so that seems like a good thing. I know people were asking me to get that. Uh, it's a a space, but the problem is, is my clan is full, guys. Like it filled the first day, so we. If you look for AI AIO two, that one is it's a space. A, a, uh, they're gonna put it up there, and you can check that out. So. Good luck, Sparky. We'll see you later. Stronghold. So, Nightwolf, how do I build a stronghold? Is that something that I can do, or...? By the way, uh, mods, one of the mods, can you change the game? Sorry, I just realized that. Oh, also, I am gonna go ahead and say goodbye to the, uh, the Newegg folks. So if you're over on twitch.tv slash Newegg, thank you very much for hanging out. I am gonna let you guys go. Uh, YouTube and uh, so my community, you guys can stick around, but since we're not building anymore, uh, we're gonna let them go. So goodbye, Newegg. Appreciate you guys being here. Oh, you have to have 10,000 clan influence, 100,000. Okay, are we anywhere near that? Okay, I'm 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 only level nine. I'm going I'm going as quick as I can. I could probably boost. Let me I'll do that afterwards. We've done both directions here. Okay, so let's go up. What do we get if we get a stronghold? Man, I'm crushing this. I'm crushing this this dungeon now. My dude's so pro. No boss yet. Oh, you have oh, red dragons like we have enough. So I just need to get to I need to get to level I need to get to level 12, 10 or 12 then is it what you're saying red dragons red, red dragon zombie? I don't know who I'm fighting. I'm just going through I'm just going through a through a dungeon. I'm hoping there's a boss here soon. And then I can upgrade, I can I can boost my palette. Yeah, it seems like Red Dragon Zombie's been playing a while. Okay, here we go. How do you know how much influence you have? Where's that at? Okay, I got some more nether stuff. I need I need more though. Okay, here we go. Going through, I think we got, we're, how many, room? oh, this is our last room. 20 out of 20. So is this a boss? Yep, there's a boss. Let's do it! Yeah, I'm, I'm crushing these bosses. 
What I need, though, is nether stuff. I don't think so, Sinful. Okay, so I've done that floor. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to town. Let's see if I can... I've, I've unlocked more fighting here. Okay, I'll boost this. Hold on. Oh, it's free now. Okay, there we go. So I've got... Here we go. I'm at... Right now, I'm doing... Here we go. Let's start whatever this is. Claim. Okay, here's all my farms now. I gotta upgrade all my farms to 10. I forgot, I'm, they're not spending money. I don't know why it's free for like five hours, but I've had that happen for now. Okay, so there's all our farms. Stone quarry. Okay, so let's just, let's just upgrade all these. This is what I, this is what, it, this is like what, what the problem has been is like, I don't even know how high I'm supposed to. Okay, I'm getting, I'm upgrading all this stuff because I want to keep it all up to, I like to make sure the numbers match. Those are all. Uh, those aren't okay. Does anybody know why my my upgrades are free for like eight hours? So there's like some sort of weird boost I have or something. Because I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't know why it's supposed to be this way. It just seems like everything is like free is like, like no matter I don't have to wait any time. You may know why. Oh, because there's so many of you guys online at once. So like I've been able to like just basically not have to pay or not have to wait for anything. It's all been free. I mean, outside of obviously resources, but. We're almost there with uh, the town, getting it to 10. This seems a little crazy how much I'm able to just upgrade for free. Okay, so that's all, I think all that stuff is upgraded. I'll say 10 now. Nope. Get that upgraded. My city is looking, looking looking pretty fly. Oh, there's one. Okay, here we go. Claim, 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 claim. I have like 50 million freaking resources. Here we go, 19 now. I gotta do defense too, I guess. And then here we go. Now my palace is going to 11. I can hit help. See if you guys can help me. Okay, there we go. Now I'm at level 10. Can I attack something yet? Let's go see if we can find like a bad dude. 
these I can't plague raven. I need a shaman. I still don't know how to get a dang shaman. Oh, here's a Celt. I gotta get to Upgrader 6, dude. How do you actually fight, like, all these dudes out here, man? It feels like you have to, like, you don't ever get to fight any dudes. These Celts out here. Like, there's no, like, can I kill Snake something? I'm gonna kill something, you know? I have, like, this whole army. It doesn't do anything. You know? <laughs> I mean, I've been playing this game for a while now, and all I can do is, like, go get food. Ooh, what's that? Hey, what's this? Gold fields. Oh, let's go capture that. Send some test mercenaries to go get that. Go get them, boys. Oh, I gotta put everybody. There we go. Let's get some lots of them. Why can't it? What? Their capacity? What the heck is that? Okay. Right. Okay. Well, go get the go get the lum lumber then. I guess you have to have compa Oh, you need more troops because gold is heavy. Oh, okay. I forgot to upgrade this one. I'll do that next time. Why can't I upgrade this? Oh, let's do this. Okay, palace is upgrading. So how do I build a stronghold? If I'm level 10, we have enough stuff. Where's the stronghold stuff? It's how much they carry from a resource, okay. I had 40 troops out of 22,500. Okay, well, we'll build more troops. I guess I can, oh, let's do this. Let's go to troops. Train. All of them. Train. Oh, I should have done boost. No, it's not doing eight-hour boost. Okay. I should have. I should have trained all of them. Train all of them. Train all of them. Yeah, I've got lots of troops now. I don't know why the clan doesn't show up. It's called, yeah, it, it should. So if, I, I don't know, people have like been saying any of like that stuff forever, search. Oh, that was weird. I'm gonna go to search. A, I, hey there, I can see it. It worked. There's AI, AIO. We have 392 million. Oh, clan shield at the bottom, okay. Construct, ooh, cool, oh, ooh, okay, here we go. Construct. Okay, stronghold. Oh, so we have, we need scrolls and food. We have influence, but we need scrolls, food. So you can add resources, guys. But we need resources. We need lumber and scrolls and stuff like that. That's what we need to get it. Yeah, everyone has to send resources. We have all of the influence, but we need the resources. We got to send resources to, to build our stronghold. Here. So yeah, you got, we got a lot, we got a lot to go. Uh, coordinates for the second clan. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on. List of clans. A, I. Uh, there it is right. Oh, no, that's their influence. I don't know where. Oh, here, we'll go to info. Here we go. It doesn't say where they are. I'm going to write to the chief. You are awesome. There you go. I let him know that we're we're awesome. 
Okay, so people are, okay, people are, people are, I'm seeing trade convoys are coming. Sending scrolls, okay, people are sending scrolls and stuff. Where's my, where are my dudes? Are they still out here like fighting? Oh, they're still coming back, okay. Hey guys, we're gonna play for about five more minutes. Well, now we know what we need. We need to get some more, uh, we need to get some more. You guys, if we wanna build a stronghold, we need to get resources and people are sending stuff now so I can look at um, our stronghold. We're getting, we're got silver coming. We need a billion food, a billion lumber, 750 million iron and 1 billion stone. So uh, you guys should, uh, you guys need to get in on that, um, I think. So we, that's 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 where we're at from here. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So like I said, if we're gonna play about thirty minutes, this is the game we we're playing. Uh, super appreciate. Ooh, I gotta get my. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Okay, where's my bank? It says that there's stuff subscriptions. Oh, claim. There we go. Okay, so I got my stuff. Oh, do I? Oh, does it show up to me and then I have to give it to them? Oh, okay, maybe I have. Do I have to d give the? Do I have to give the stuff? Okay, um, here we go. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it for this one. Let's go to Can Link. Let's uh, reset this up now. So I really appreciate everybody here uh, hanging out and being a part of this and playing some games. We're gonna play some different ones. Whoa, that's really loud. Let's go to function, boom. Um, I, I really hope that we're gonna try and do this a little bit more often, maybe play a little bit more, but I promised we wouldn't go too late tonight uh, because it was so late last Friday. So um, appreciate everybody hanging out. That was 30 minutes of uh, Vikings. Uh, and so again, if you wanna play, uh, you guys can stick around. We're gonna, I mean, if you wanna play, uh, totally allowed to. Uh, super appreciate having this this clan. I, I'm enjoying the game. I'm gonna continue to upgrade and do that sort of stuff. Is it? Where's Roby's Discord? Discord.gg slash Robytech is my Discord. You wanna check it out. I got trade convoys coming in. I got all sorts of stuff happening. It's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, well, let's do the last giveaway for the night. This is for a 3060. We're gonna be giving away a 3060 tonight. Uh, so super appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, big shout out to Newegg. I want you guys to say thank you, Newegg, because they are our primary sponsor. So say thank you, Newegg, um, because they were the ones who basically primarily sponsor uh, the show. And so uh, the uh, entry point for this is going to be exclamation point uh, Newegg now. Exclamation point Newegg now. Oops. Giveaways. It hasn't started. It'll be running for two minutes. We find the giveaway here. It is right here. It's for a 3060. Oopsie. There we go. Okay, starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes. Let me make sure this says two minutes. I don't want any longer than that. Yeah, okay, two minutes starting right now. That's not what I want. I want this. Okay, we're gonna raid somebody here at the end. I know we still have a thousand people or 871 people here. Um, so we are gonna raid somebody here at the end. Uh, I'm gonna give a give a look for who to raid. Uh, we just ask if you could stick around, say hi, just make somebody's day. That's always so incredible. And one of the things I love is how much, um, how much, uh, just how much people appreciate um, just having making their day. You guys showing up and just saying hi and being there for a large, uh, you know, for a little while will make anybody's day given there's such a large number of you. So thank you for that. Now, don't forget Monday, Mod Monday, streaming here, twitch.tv slash Robitech. I will be in uh, Los Angeles, we'll be building an Intel, that's right, Rocket Lake 11th Gen PC. We're gonna be building that. 
live on stream. We're gonna be giving away 11th gen. We're gonna be giving away plushies. We're gonna be giving away so much stuff. So you're definitely gonna to tune in for that. Uh, I think that usually starts around 4 p.m. So I'll be down in LA. I'm in LA this Monday. I'm in LA next Monday. And then I'm in LA two Mondays from there, guys. So we have a lot of Mon Intel Mod Mondays coming up um, for your viewing pleasure. Actually gonna be building a PC with no Cocoa Puffs. I don't know if you guys remember him. I've done some stuff with him. Uh, he is a CLG player, a big Apex Pro player. We're gonna be building a PC with him uh, in a couple as weeks as well. So it should be a really, really rad time. Uh, looking, I think hopefully maybe we have a raid target. You might have texted me with that. 26 seconds left, guys. I'm trying to find my phone. Oh, Mike is streaming. Aw. Oh, we got Nate. Okay, we're gonna take a look. Let's take a look and see who we uh, who we uh, who we're gonna give a, a thick thing. Okay, here we go, guys. Last, uh, here we go. Picking a winner right now. Congratulations to Sirius Forty Two. Sirius Forty Two. Congratulations, Sirius Forty Two. You are the winner of the uh, Thirty Sixty. Appreciate you, my friend. Congratulations. Uh, we'll be getting you that, connecting you and contacting you about that prize. Guys, please stick around. There's 600 of you. Let's make somebody's day just that much more awesome. I'm gonna give a go and see who I'm following just to see who else we got streaming. So just stick around, please. You can make somebody's day just that much better. Okay, we got Brittany needed. Not doing that. We got Dad Got Game playing. Arcanaut, we haven't done for a while. Trump, let's do Arcanaut. We haven't done Arcanaut in a while. So we're gonna do Arcanaut, he's a good dude. Uh, so let's do Arcanaut, we're gonna raid Arcanaut. Super entertaining, he's playing Escape from Tarkov. Uh, let's go and do that raid now. Here we go, Escape from Tarkov. Come on guys, let's do it. How many people can we get? 151, can we get four or 500? There's 400. Say hi for me. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great night, and we'll see you on Monday.